What is going on, everyone? And welcome to the final week of Mortal Kombat 11 here of season three of the Coliseum. Tonight, gonna be a little bit different when it comes to the audio. I'm just gonna be more of the host. I'm gonna be handing it over to another set of commentators who will be giving you guys, or calling the action tonight, and the action's gonna be insane. Let me break down a little bit of the scenario for you and give you guys a breakdown of what's going on. This is week number seven of a seven week series. They, these players have been gathering points based on how they perform every single week. Uh, and those points, getting them into the finale, top eight in points, only way in. And right now, we are in a situation where it is down to four players that are trying to get the last spot in the finale. They've been duking it out all day. The past two and a half hours have been these players grinding for those points. And we got a bracket for you guys. I'm going to hand it over to two commentators that have been with us the entire season. I'm going to put it in their loving hands and their loving voices. Guys, Tento, Flashy, take it away. What is going on, everybody? We are here. Week seven of seven. This is the end. After this week, after our seven matches tonight, all of our top eight for the Mortal Kombat 11 season three finale will be set. As Aquaman said, they have been duking it out all season. There's a couple spots left up for grabs. We're going to be breaking down all the stats and everything like that tonight for you. But let me introduce the co-host of tonight. Interestingly enough, we have actually commentated together on land. So it's awesome to be back going full circle. we got the one and only Tento here. Tento, week hey, seven is upon us, man. It makes me really happy to commentate with Flash again. Like he said, the last time we got to commentate, it was actually at fucking New Jersey. For oh, yeah. So it was great. But we're not here to reminisce. We're here to be talking about now week seven. That bracket right now is looking kind of. <laughs> Tell us about it. What's, what we got right. going on? Right now for you guys, as you see, round one could be unjust versus hijinks. And also uh, on the other side of that side is going to be Pop-Tart and Hatman going at it. And then on the lower side, we have Hayate and Patient Impulse. I believe this is his first top eight. He has made the presence and appearance in for this season. And then we got Scar and Turkey. Now, here's the thing, as we just said, Aquaman just told you guys there's four contestants here that need to make uh, that basically need to have a make a break to make sure they um, secure themselves for top eight. And I'm telling you guys right now, if Pop-Tart ends up taking this entire event, the whole top eight for the finale is going to be broken. And because I like I like bullshit, I want Pop-Tart to win. I'm sorry. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm not going to lie to you guys at all. I love to see chaos and Pop-Tart will legit shake up the entire standings, especially because Ludi and Aztec did not play for this week. So, man, Flashy, I don't know, man. It's looking kind of... <laughs> and what's hilarious is if you guys are in the Discord, in the Mortal Kombat 11 chat for Season 3, Unjust literally wrote, I think, what sums up our Week 7. He goes, do I have to win this whole week to be in the Top 8? Aquaman just replies, yes. And he just <laughs> goes, shit. <laughs> so, Unjust playing for that Top 8 spot, and we get to see him going in Round 1 against Hijinx, a very strong Jackie player. So, we'll see what that matchup ends up looking like. And, as Tento was saying, Pop-Tart looking to make... To shake things up a bit here so we got a super interesting lineup here it's gonna be absolutely awesome again after this week our finale which is going down next sunday 6 p.m eastern right here on the channel we got our finale and before we get into the matches we got to go over the match arena we have been raising money for these guys all season long and we are at 660 dollars oh, just for mk11 so big shout out to everybody that's been donating if you're hitting claim code anything you guys are adding whether it's 25 cents or 25 dollars it's been much appreciated again these guys have been going for two months tento two whole months of Ooh, sweating in mk11 God. we want to get them paid so exclamation point match arena in the chat just hit that link donate to the prize pool if you can but if not where are we at with the matches? Do we have invites out? Are we ready to rock? I'm ready to see some good old fashioned MK11. That's for soon. sure. Invites are out, gentlemen. And can I, we can also tell everyone that seven of our eight finalists are set. By the way, should, should, should we tell them who's in? Let's go. Let's break it down for them. With over $600 on the line, 100% guaranteed for the finale are the following players. Scar, full auto, Burning Oni, Buff Jade, Honeybee. <laughs> you, you threw me off when you said Buff Jade. I, got, I thought that was somebody that was... <laughs> Continue. Honeybee. Turkey, Tweety, and Hayate with a top eight performance got in in this final week, and it was by 10 points. He thought he needed to perform a little bit better 
but he secured it by 10 points just by making the top eight here today. He's gonna be looking to get a little bit more to secure himself somewhere comfortable, but those seven are definitely in. It's down to Ludi, Aztec, the Mighty Unjust, and Pop-Tart. It could play out multiple different ways. Jeez. If Unjust, if the Mighty Unjust gets second, he'll tie with Ludi and Aztec for the eighth spot. It'll be a triple tiebreaker. If he gets second, I, if he doesn't get- How are we get breaking down tiebreakers? How are we doing that for this season? Um, best, I think the first one is the highest performance. It gets down to head to head. And then there's average uh, placing as well is what it comes down to. And last season we did have one come down to the very third tiebreaker, but we'll get into it even more so as the night as continues. Take Wait, what? The hell up, we got- yeah. <laughs> Hold on, here. what? <laughs> We nah. got spawn from unjust, and we have hijinks on Fujin. What? I was actually, I don't know. Flashy. The more I'm thinking about, it, the more it makes sense. So, as people know, spawn is technically some people consider it's a bad matchup for Jackie, which is why you see hijinks right now switching with the Fujin pick. But you know, the Fujin, uh, I don't know if it's a little polished. We, we gonna see though. We gonna see. Oh, yeah, that's Oh, oh my God. Well, I just is rocking the plasma pool. So not a lot of you guys might have ever seen this, but if just watch spawns the meter, offensive meter. It just comes back in an instant if he is standing in that plasma pool. You really do not see this special ability chosen often. It is really good for zoning because spawn can just get his projectile back, as you guys saw, within like 0.5 of a second. That projectile is back, but he does have to sit in that pool. But now, Unjust got hijinks in the corner. Fujin not wanting to be there, but wave dashing his way out. Skywalking his way out. Back to mid screen in less than two seconds. Plasma pool set back up, and the back ones can begin from hijinks. So far, this is looking close though. Down to 20 seconds. A minute already gone by, and I'm surprised Unjust did not get the punish right there. Nix is over here checking, but guess what? I'm just going to get the punish right there. Going to dunk him too, and that's going to be the first that's round. It. That's it. Dunks him. 1 0. A 78 second round? with Spawn and Fujin on the screen. That just goes to show what that Plasma Pool can do. Just getting that meter back is gonna be just too good right now. Hijinx, unfortunately, uh, I do not believe, he, his, as you guys can see, his, uh, his, um, as, <laughs> his name for his variation is can't qualify for the fourth week. He's gatekeeping out here. We Aquaman has been promoting the gatekeeping big time here on season three Coliseum. He absolutely loves it. So we'll see. We Listen, gatekeeping, we got no problem with that. But as of right now, it is going in Unjust favor, going up 1-0. Again, the plasma pool, the corner pressure. Unjust had it all figured out from the start. Going up 1-0 here against Hijinx. Will he opt to switch to the Jackie? Or is he just going to keep having fun trying to gatekeep with Fujin? Which I don't blame him, man. Fujin is a super fun character. Like, impossible to play if you're not just maining him, but really, really fun character nonetheless. So definitely a good gatekeeping character. Like how, like the man just gets to walk on air whenever he. That's just bull. I'm sorry, <laughs> that's just kind of crazy to me. This is definitely the coolest NRS character, um, that they have. Ever, this coolest character NRS has ever created, though. Oh my God, look oh, at this. Yes. Forty-five into a jump kick, into the big boot from Spawn, and here we go. Oh, dude, what is going on in game one? Don't tell me. And the match. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, wait, we got a lot of things going on right now, man. Seven forty. Aquaman, please give us the update. Yo, seven. We gotta yo, get the update right here, please. A big ass donation, yo. If we can make it to a thousand dollars, yo. And also, happy birthday to Alexis in the chat, in the YouTube hey, side. Hey, big shout out, Alexis. Happy birthday to one of our YouTube members and a huge donation. It was Gabrielle on the YouTube chat that said you might want to check go. Matcherino again. I have a feeling it was it was, it was Gabrielle. Thank you so much, everyone. We're getting yo. these players paid. And just like that, moving into game number two, Unjust versus Hijinx. Hijinx switching to Cabal. I'm starting to sense a theme here with Hijinx's playstyle. It is characters that like to play Dragon Ball Fighter Z, which is they just stay in the air the entire time. He's got he's got Jackie with the leap. He's got Fuja with the Skywalker, and I'm assuming that he's running the air gas blast from Cabal. I didn't get to check his variation, but I'm just gonna assume. Yeah, he that. Yep. Yeah. yeah, he is an automatically confirming into the jump in three Nomad Dash. Full combo, get into the corner. Oh my goodness, the air gas blast. Spawn with his back to the corner. One of the deadliest characters with his back to the corner, if you guys don't know. Obviously, that forward throw, KB, netting spawn nearly like oh my God, 60%. Make, yeah. Could have been. Yo, yeah, Pop Tart, you know, he's a bit of a tier whore. He just wants to play to all the top tiers, make sure he gets that dub. And speaking of dubs, taking that first round over Unjust with that spawn. Oh man. Look kind of tough. The man just definitely wants to fart in the air and just do some jump kicks, but uh, Unjust. <laughs> That'd be trying to make sure that doesn't happen. But we're, look, we got more. More of them. Oh my the pressure, god. Pressure, man. The pressure. Into the forward two. Okay, doesn't hit him for the forward two. Just takes the combo. 
the dashes. Dude, the movement from Unjust with the spawn is actually disgusting. Makes spawn even more of a horrifying character to fight against. Does at your entire health bar for one bar a meter and is also wave dashing back and forth like Fujin. Oh my goodness, the flawless blocks. We're starting. We are starting like that. Flawless blocks. Jump in one, down one, into confirm. Oh, dude, Unjust is gaming. He's like, I got to take the win tonight. Okay. I'm, I'm taking everything that falls under the term sweaty and I'm bringing it out with this spawn here in round one. One, one, two, down one pressure into the projectiles. Jeez, man. It's just unrelenting. No stand three. That was so late. He had like three chances to do so, but yo, Pop Tart. Oh, I'm sorry. Pop Tart is trash. Hi, Jinx. <laughs> I don't know why he got. I don't know why he got so uh, mad over Pop Star right now. He got command grab too many times. Oh, that could have been it if he confirmed the charge. Oh no, he's gonna die for it. That is so unfortunate. That's death. That is. All right, we're going into round three, and we got Rips in the chat, dude. Shout out to Rip. Flashy and Tesla doing all the work while Mr. Aquaman is drinking Kraken in the background. I can see his camera right now, and I can confirm he is in fact just sitting there drinking Kraken. Oh my God. Aviators are off. I'm just big chilling back here. <laughs> But that'll be closing out. Tying things up. Hijinx switching over to the Cabal. Tying things up here with the brutality ending on the Nomad Dash. Doesn't We have had Unjust on the Kalo cast, Aquaman and myself, and he just immediately says, I'm just going to counter pick. All I'm going to do is just counter pick everybody. Does he opt to change here against Cabal? A character with probably not a lot of bad matchups, but will Unjust switch or will he stick with the spawn pick going here into game number three? Man, I don't know because um, one thing I know about Unjust, talk to the man is pretty frequently. He hates Cabal. Like, he truly <laughs> hates this goddamn character. Every time he sees this character on the screen, his eyes rolls backwards. But he's going to look like he's going to stick with the spawn. And like we have said, he needs to do well in this event so he can, um, like, just get more points and just make sure he looks more positive here. Like, he and just. He He's going to be switching over to Soul Forfeit as well, Tento. Ooh. He got rid of the Plasma Pool. He's like, listen, nothing's going to happen by standing in the corner over here. I'm going Soul Forfeit. I'm going max combo, max damage. Will be interesting to see when he opts to use the Soul Forfeit. You know, a lot of spawns, they wait till round three, and then they just kind of nuke everything and try their best to burn all of their abilities and their resources. We'll see if Unjust opts for that option or if he goes for the kill in round one or two. Here we go. Game three, I believe we're all tied up. One game apiece, Unjust versus Hijinx here in round one. And that down one from spawn, Tento. Man, that is doing some yeah, work. He's been catching them a lot. Thought the breakaway was coming up, but he didn't spin the bar, but he gets the air to air. Yo, no, he didn't confirm. Oh, that's a big. No, nothing off of that either, though. The ball's blocked, though. Yo, she's knocking the background. Like, what the fuck is happening? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, watch this bullshit. Why is spawn in MK and why is Cabal back alive doing fucking air gas? What the hell is this? Oh, wait, no, like, this is not the future I envisioned, but going send 3 4 into the cancel on the back forward 2. Okay, the forward 2 is the pressure. Oh, forward 2 catches. No. Hit confirm. Oh, this is going to be damage. This is going to be some damage here. Minimum 30. Gets to 340 for one bar. Into more pressure on the forward too. But Swan from the unjust. Keeping it safe. Oh, this with the projectiles. Oh. Hey, he thought the breakaway was coming, but it didn't. No defensive meter for the breakaway just yet. Spawn in the corner. Gets the foot. Oh, he goes back throw to try to bait out a tech. Could have gone forward throw. I didn't see an escape fail. Potentially there was one there. That's, yeah. Yeah. Oh, That's game. I didn't know that was punishable. What the fuck? God Jeez. Damn. Here we go. And again, some long rounds coming out of these two, man. Another 60 second round, especially with Spawn and Cabal on the screen. Two carries that just delete your health bar. Doesn't confirm into the charging health spawn, but he's got the corner pressure. I think. Was he about to just YOLO Nomad Dash on. You know, I don't be, I wouldn't be surprised if the man's got nothing to lose. That's the person you gotta fear the most. The person with nothing to lose. Oh nice. my god. Well said. On ones, man. The game is down one into projectile for unjust right now and find that stand 3 4 range. Wow, the guaranteed back one two on the trip guard. Unjust is gaming right now. He knew that was gonna hit. He knew he was gonna be able to punish him on the come down. Oh, the flaws block. There up. we Ooh. go. That one's back up to three four. No, he's catching him a lot. Down, like you just said, that down, one, down one projectile. That's the game right now. Catching him a lot. He oh, did wrong. Oh, he's not dead though. Speaking of YOLO, Nomad Dash, he just sends it out there into more forward two pressure. Down one gets him out of the fatal blows. That's it. Yep. Okay. That just sums up this entire set. Down one, taking Cabal out of the fatal blow. Unjust going up 2 1 here in round number one. Dude. I, I do like the Cabal pick from Hijinx, though. It's working. It is most definitely working, that's for sure. Did but he's, the down he's down one? ones, man. He's down ones. Did you see the do you see the fatal blow that was about to come out? That man Bursa, y'all saw that man flash. He was about to run across the world. He's about to do it. He really just and he got stopped by a low poke. He got poked in the kneecap and it stopped him. Boy, he got slashed in the kneecap. Look at this. <laughs> Early. 
I, that, that YOLO Nomad Dash was sick, though. I'm wondering if maybe he opts to start bringing those out more if he sticks with Cabal. Just really try to catch on just pressing a button. Down one. Stops the fatal blow. Are you kidding me, man? He was still mashing, and he definitely tried. To, he uh, After that wake up, he, he just got him with the three fours. It's unbelievable. But yo, Unjust currently up 2 1. He wants to move on. Pop Tart, he's sadly not going to make a finale, but he wants to gatekeep, and we're all for gatekeeping. And by the way, guys, the three people that's gatekeeping right now that's in the top eight is going to be Hijinx, Patient Impulse, and Hatman. They're looking just to make sure, you know what? I know I'm not in yet, but I'm going to make sure some of y'all have some hell going into this uh, finale. So, is Patient Impulse, is that the. Was that the Aaron Black player? No, that is uh, the Raiden play. If this man doesn't oh, know the Oh, Raiden? Very nice. Gosh. Very nice. I'm excited to see that. But anyway, game number four here. Unjust getting the tech. But these air gas blasts are working. The oh jump ins, God. the jump in boots. Party. All the flaws block. Speaking of flaws block, though, we did see Hijinx flaws block one of those down ones in the last set. I think he's going to need to do way more of those because these down ones are just relentless. you got to get high or Unjust off of those down ones. And now the projectile game. Also, we've not seen Soul Forfeit yet. That still confirms. That was like max range. What is the hit stun on the 3 4? Jeez, man. Yeah, Hijinx is pressing some goddamn buttons. Just, but the button. Hey, no button has been blocked yet, though. No button has been blocked yet, though. He's pressing every button but block. Okay. Oh, and there it is. Okay, he blocks the YOLO Nomad Dash. Gets the full combo. Down one. Oh, did we get the meter burn off in time? Wait a minute. Not like this. Not like this. Fleet. Oh, okay. Again, I, I respect the YOLO Nomad dashes, though. No, I, I do. don't. Think so. Are you turning <laughs> off the green What the hell is wrong with you, man? It's just, dude, it's just because it, when it hits, you just feel so good that it's like worth getting being minus 27 or whatever that is on block. It's just worth it. The down ones, dude. These down ones are the bin. How did that just hit? Did he think that he was maybe going to stagger it with the projectile? Maybe try to get underneath the first high projectile? I don't know, but that back one too hit. And the flawless mm -hmm. block on the jump in. 19% just for jumping. Oh my gosh, man. You can't be doing that. Down ones, down ones. The oh, step back. back. Oh, yeah. He's yeah, gonna back me. up and he's gonna send out those stand three fours. No, oh, he shot it down one other. If he gets a hit, he actually wins because uh, he doesn't have defensive bar yet. Oh, that could have been in. He tried to falls block it. Backing up, backing up, backing up. And then he forward dashes. That's really interesting. Backs up and then he forward dashes under Cabal's air gas. He's gonna be okay off of this, but I would not be surprised and wake up from unjust. I'm sorry. Oh, no, it's gonna forward catch him. Forward twos. Is he got breaker? Does he opt for it? No. Okay, reads the breaker, but no breakaway. That for twice. Unjustice needs one good read into Fatal Blow. Oh. I take it back. Dude, I take it back. No, don't YOLO no man dash. I take it back, dude. Damn, I'm no. sorry. I'm sorry. That, that was just honestly, just end on that note, which is something. But yo, Unjust is going to move on over Hijinx 3 1. I, a big round of applause to Hijinx, though. He had a great season, but unfortunately, Ugh. comes to an end here yeah. with the cabal pick against unjust unjust gonna be moving into our semifinals again for those of you guys that were not here at the beginning when we broke it down for you unjust basically needs a w unjust pretty much needs a w tonight to solidify himself in our finale again that is going down next sunday 6 p.m eastern our finale is going to be set after our top eight tonight and we just saw unjust he's he's like dude i gotta win this one i'm bringing out all the tech and by all the tech i mean down ones i'm bringing out the down ones tonight that is exactly what's going to happen unjust moving forward hijinx is going to be ending season three hopefully we'll see him back if we ever do another season wink wink at you mr Aquaman. but if we could hit our bracket what do we got coming up next rick so good man shout out to rick again real quick rick i did it last time i'm gonna do it again at some point Put your Twitter on that little message box. We need everybody to go follow Rick, the man in the back, the Wizard of Oz, putting on the show week in and week out. Absolutely crushing it in the background. We got Rick. Anyway, Pop-Tar and Hatman coming up next. Tento, talk about this a little bit hey, because you said at the beginning of the stream. What do we got? Real quick, guys. Oh, I was going to say, isn't it amazing how I've just gotten this to a point where I sit here and do nothing? Yeah. You get paid to just sit there and chill. It's great, right? You got cracking. You got Kyle right next to you rubbing. It's, it's, it's great. You just it's look amazing. like you might as well just you you I bet he has the he has the crack in his hand with the pinky out and then just <laughs> open on just just like right yeah there. sitting back with his legs <laughs> crossed yeah. just, with the pinky out. Out. just putting on real quick uh I got a nice breakdown for you guys um or a little further breakdown especially for Ludi who just kind of got here and is trying to understand the situation 
Um, real quick, shout outs to the donations. A, another $5 just came in from Oil. Shout out to Boil That Oil. Slick Shots with 40 and Angel with 40. Oh, will put us here. Yeah. Slick Shots wanted me to read his message, so I'm going to read it. He already, He's earned it. He donated the money. He said, fuck MKX and buff Shiva while you're at it. That's the message from Slick Shot that he wanted to get across. The man loves him from MK11. Shout outs. And buff Shiva, I agree. Get our queen back to the top. I want to see the stomps. I want to see people smelling those feet. I'm right there in agreement with you. And shout out to Angel Avenger that just sent us a smile. Foil sending us a hug. Hey, hey, man. Hey. <laughs> I didn't say it. I didn't say it. <laughs> oh, I didn't man. say it. I'm just ready. I'm Dude, just this one has been it. demonetized from the very I'm start, just, bro. We're done I'm here. We're just done. Uh, that final spot for you guys, Ludi, is um, currently tied with Aztec for the eighth spot. Um, for the Mighty Unjust, he does need a win to guarantee himself in, and so does Pop Tart. Pop Tart, the only way in is a win. Unjust, if no he pressure. gets second, will technically tie with Aztec and Ludi for the last spot, then it'll be a triple tiebreaker. And that's the complete breakdown of the points now. And there we have it. Again, sorry, guys. a lot I'm of shaking up going on. And yeah, and we got both of them back to back. We had Unjust starting off round one, and now our next game is oh, gonna be Pop-Tart here. They have to each other, no matter what, even if, oh, if Pop-Tart wins this, it's all on the line. Yep. That's, oh, head, dude, man. this is this is getting crazy, man. On, during MKX, I believe it was just Tweety had to win his round one match, and then our top eight was set. Yep. Which was also sick. It was sick watching that first game. But now that we have all of these, Aquaman, I think you were using the word implications a lot during the pre-show, and that's exactly what we have here, man. There's so much that can happen, and it all rise on these round right, ones. Yeah, me neither. But it sounded right, and it's a lot of syllables, so we're gonna let it rock. And that's that's pretty much how it's gonna go. You broke the syllable barrier that I can use, and that means that it, the word is gonna be correct. Anyway, yeah. So we got Pop Tart coming up next. I'm not too familiar with what Hat Man plays. Uh, that would be pretty sick if it was Kung Lao. That would be pretty meta. But we got Pop Tart. I'm assuming gonna go with the Kotal Khan pick. And I mean, I played Jackie. He has a um, very okay. Jackie, and so, he played um, Shang as well. I'm so. getting old. Mighty unjust. Ignore that invite. I accidentally invited them like they were playing because we were talking about them. I'm so Jeez, sorry. As we, was, as we said the words. Everybody's out. confused out here. <laughs> Hijinx had Pop Tart in his like variation name. Tento thought everything was Pop Tart play. And now Aquaman thinking yeah. unjust play because he's talking about him. Oh Pop no, man, we're falling apart. I'm sorry, Pop guys. <laughs> Take it away. Hold on. Unjust said I got on Elden Ring. Bro, in the middle of a tournament, this guy wins his game and he's like, I'm going to go play Elden Ring for the next 40 minutes and then I'm going to come back and play my semifinals match. When I have to win this tournament. That's pretty gross, dude. That's also, actually pretty disgusting. Your... Also, what's your build? Aquaman wants to know your build. <laughs> let everybody. Let us, what do we got? Let us. Let us let us know in the comments yeah everyone. That's, that's gonna be our thing everyone for that's gonna be our thing for today 100 percent. i want to know everyone's elden ring build right now currently i'm a i'm a faith bubble boy but i also like strength and swinging a massive anchor i'm fucking aquaman dex intelligence baby Jesus Christ. I literally just follows his meta everywhere he goes aquaman all he does is just big swords big swords and water related items that's that's literally this guy I am currently working on a kotal Khan build with a big sword yeah. Race towards just walking around just like this, ready to swing at everybody. That's gonna be double ridiculous. You can't just have one. You can't. You can't just have one, huh? You can't just have one giant sword and one Kotal Khan. You, you need them to everywhere. walk into the room swinging the biggest thing. That's all I'm saying. As if we weren't demonetized already, dude. <laughs> Aquaman's just like teetering that line, bro. Every week, in and out. It's just like I'll upload the vod, and I'm like, this has to be the demonetized one. It just has to be. With what hey. Tento and Aquaman do here on Sundays, bro. All right. Hey, I'm like Jeez. to say, I, I'm, I haven't just any liquor yet until, unless we get $800. If we get $800, then I might touch some liquor. We don't know. But we got Man and Pop Tart into the lobby, and it looks like it's going to be Kotal Khan and Katana. Hold oh, on. Oh, everybody switching it up on us today. I love it, man. Switching it up on the end of the season. I don't know if that's maybe some mind game. Maybe they're trying some new things out. But that's what I like to see. Pop Tart again needs the W. We'll be moving into the semifinals if he wins the fight on Just, and that's where shit will really hit the fan. But Hatman looking to play the gatekeeping role. Switching to the Katana pick. Very awesome. Breakaway. Unfortunate. Probably didn't mean to do that. But gonna be going with the low diagonal fan and low fan. And got Kotal in the corner. That's where you want Kotal. You definitely want his back to the corner. One, two, forward two pressure already starts. Oh man. Downforce. A lot of downforce coming out of Pop Tart One because the hit advantage is great and he wants to establish that mind game with Cat. He's gonna be pro. Little Kotal Khan picking corner to corner. 
and great Oki off of it as well. But the Katana combos, that is meterless 27%. People sleep on Katana's combo pressure, man. She can go meterless anything into plus 25%, and it is absolutely ridiculous. Oh, plus man. all the ridiculous pressure from the zoning. Because I hate this character, so don't remind me. <laughs> Katana is tough, especially when the game first came out, dude. I had no idea how to play against Katana. I mean, I still don't, but every time she goes to that back two string, it just starts sweating. Ooh, Jump three, boost. air to air. There we go. Not like this. All right. Yo, have me right now. Oh, yes, punish. Yes, punish. Oh, yes. And he's going to go with the con cut. Don't know why that move's called the con cut, but regardless, down one into no. tick throw. That's going to be the game. Down one is the theme of this week, Tento. Nice ass uppercut. Oh, no. We, we love the match out here. We're going to check those kneecaps. We need to. Back yeah, one catches. Oh goes in the KV, though. Gets a nice little chunk of health. Oh, oh yeah, over the read. Or made the read on the grab. And the down one. Full combo. Off a of down two. What do we got here? Is this 40? 39. Close enough. We'll round it up to 40. But pushing his oh, way out of the corner. Oh, sir. You're gonna get a day. double in the corner. We gonna call in that sunlight or we going in? I believe we going in. Top forward two. Now sunlight. Forward two into sunlight. That's death. Oh my gosh, dude. That's that animation sick. took too long. She was sunbathing. You can't sunbathe for too long, Katana. You gonna die. That is actually ridiculous, especially in the corner. Forward two into sun. I like that. Instead of just opting for the setup of the sun, tried to push her way into the corner and really get that pressure dominated. And the oh my gosh, dude, these command grabs just working. They're just working. Not once. I'm not gonna check you. Oh, that's plus. Oh, that was gross. Mm -hmm. Gets full combo here. No defensive meter. Plus KB. You are just watching Katana destroy Kotal's health bar. Like every single thing that Hatman is doing is just decimating the health bars, just chunking it down. Plus again, all this little chip. So oh, sad yes. big time. Gets rid of the gap. Hold on. Or two? Nope. Dash, dash up down one into one, two, two. Oh, he shot that oh. down. Oh, this the three, three, and that's gonna, oh, wait. What did he Dude. wake up? Hatman. Did he wake up a cat? Playing a potential gatekeeping game here, man. We love to see it. The katana pick. Do I gotta start picking up katana for Kotal Khan? What do we got here? Yeah, this might be woke. I think Clay was throwing in the chat talking about some. Yeah, this might be um this this Kotal um katana wins this. I'm like, wait, what? We we'll get a confirmation from Akman whenever he has a chance on this matchup. But jeez, man, you guys just see. What was crazy though is people talk a lot about katana's damage, but again, you don't want that flashing. You really don't want that. <laughs> How? <laughs> Is you gonna go on for ten minutes about <laughs> about the Kotal and Katana matchup? No, you literally about to give me. If you tell me that he loses the Katana, I get to tell you this character sucks. You buff Kotal Khan. Look at this. <laughs> Flashy, I don't know how you didn't run into that one, man. You know he's. Bro, uh, dude, it's literally it's a curse of mine. I just have to ask Aquaman a question, no, and he'll just go. Look how no, listen how mad he is. <laughs> man. All right, back into hiding, Aquaman. Go back at that. Re Review the mic. I'm sorry I asked anything. Nah, we're good. We know he was going to be so We got Hatman going up 1 0 against Bastard. I held it in. I held it in, but he got it out of me. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, I did. I did. No fun. Oh, jeez. So it looks like Pop Tart's just a tad bit. Um, it, I, he's not pressing buttons. He's not answering. He seems like he's just a tad bit scared, but wait a second. As soon as I say it, he's going to get it another red Kool Aid fruit punch just like that, drinking that blood. Go for cat down twos, <laughs> dude. Making <laughs> every read on these throws, man. And Rick, of course, on the toasty. We love to see it, man. The up three, the punish you got called pressing. What do you do? Is it KB? Oh KB 375. God. That comes at you quick. Back ones, yes, try to go for shims. Oh, God. gets poked out and oh, reads it. But what's the read right here? And you gotta uh, go into it. You gotta go into it. Also, did not use KB. KB still available on the booty bump. He knew it was killed. Yo, Hatman come with a different authority, but that's that's the pop tar I like to see. One that, oh my god. One that antes. No forward two. Every time I think it's to be a forward two, it's a dash up, low poke cancel. That is actually gross. And again, Tento, you're calling out the cat, you're calling out the down fours. That mix up is insane because you oh do see pop tar holding the block after those down fours, assuming the cat's gonna come, and then, or sorry, Hatman holding the block, and then Pop-Tart can get the cat out Wait, or steal his back. Hold on, hold on, Hatman, 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 I'm gonna need you to chill out, bro. I'm gonna need you to chill out. I know you wanna take this, but like, gee, it ain't that serious. Oh, he wanna get keep for real. Give me a command grab. No, it goes under with the down. Did the down three just go under? 
You from, know, we're not gonna talk about it. We I don't know. even. I don't know. I, the down one just went. Un, the down three just went under. The code was down one. I didn't know she low profile that bad. <laughs> I knew it, dude. I saw you on mute. I knew it. I didn't oh want to goodness. say anything, but Aquaman definitely is gonna be like, um, oh, it's a cat. I'm gonna punish. Tigers. And one, it's oh. gross. And one into throw, dude. It that is day one right there. That'll always work. Three down threes in a row into the oh, dash of grass. Oh. This is a little game. fan. I'll see the meter burn. Not doing too much. Waste the bar meter. Let's see if this comes back. It's like back like one. pop chart looks like he's scared to press the button. I would be too against Katana. This Katana pressure is crazy, and every single time he's gotten opened up, it's been like 30% oh. minimum. Gets him back in the corner. Hi, man, look at him take this 2 0 right here. Oh, crazy son throws him out. Forward two pressure. Perry? Oh, no, no, the punish. Okay, the extra 50 from Kotal Khan. Is it going to come in clutch? Gets the back two or forward two. I don't even know what that is, bro. Fan death. This That's is it. maximum gatekeep right here, Flashy. Yo, this man, if, if Hatman takes this, that means Pop Tart cannot make the finale. Just let you guys know that, by the way. Like, Hatman is, is not in the finale at all, but Pop Tart needs to win this event in order to qualify. And Hatman is saying, fuck Kotal. <laughs> this katana is looking great in this matchup though man i did not know it was like that it can be frustrating and he's proving it man yeah like right there pop tart missing that pun is just the raw letting him uh, rip and he just waited right oh here. that was so unfortunate Dude, as soon as he let go i wonder if that was oh, reaction no, he, or just good timing no i think um no i think he actually just um you can't you can't hold the period for like forever and he uh, run out, out oh. the time. Yep. and he got the punish What's and now, right Pop Tart, in order to keep his tournament run alive to go into the finale, he's got to reverse 3 0 the katana from Hatman. That is no easy feat. And I think it's being proved here tonight. Jeez, Pop Tart, what is the answer? Did he switch Kotal variations? Did he stick with the same variation? Is he going to stick with the cat? Okay, does stick with the cat. I believe, yeah, same variation. Con cut, command grab cat against this katana, man. Jeez, needs to reverse 3 0 to keep his tournament run alive. No pressure. No pressure. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. Fight. And it's gonna start off with a big sword. Back to two into the con cut. That is a pretty good way to start your reverse 3 0 streak. If you need one, is to just lay out the offense. Papa Khan sneak a pizza up for grabs, but not gonna get the KB, unfortunately, because Cole did get hit by the fan. I don't know if that's meant to happen or if it's a bug. Back one pressure. And here we are back in the corner. Oh, you yeah, like that? He's full swing to get away. Well, not down. Oh, try to go for it. Down once. Going to cat. That's the other side, though. Oh, we got corner, but guess what? We drinking more blood out here. Gonna meter burn it? No. Just gonna take the 12 and the damage buff. Oh Ooh. my goodness. Just got punished for making the disgusting flawless block up to play. Oh, that's. Yeah, you don't like to see that, man. What gets oh. the meter burn there? Oh, we're throw. It was down once. Antis. Flawless block. Three fl there we go. Okay, now it works. But doesn't convert off about to stand one. No way Hatman makes this happen right now. Nice. Caught. Thanks, caught. Dude, that down four, that down four Jaguar, you called it out as soon as the set started, and it is it has definitely gotten into Hat Hatman's head. It's just that it's just a big mind game because um you don't want to take the hit of because that hit of is leaves total like you gotta guess between four or two and dash up for command grab. And then just the mind game and that was a beautiful trip. Dude, that's working. That's working every single time. Down four, giant Ooh. sword. Oh, can you combo could you combo that? Oh, wait a second, did Pop Tart heating up? Did he like need to I go said, to the when, he, when he started game three here with the giant sword swing into combo, I was like, okay, you know what? That's a good that's that is a good way to start your streak. Down two, just gonna push it back. Back two's gonna bring it back in. Bro, it's he's really she's really going under the down one with down three. Aquaman, don't say anything. Oh wait, no falls block gap either. Have me folks in the specials. In the rob. Robbery's them respecting each other's buttons, but now mashing. Flawless block. Okay, that's guaranteed. Oh yeah, pop tart. Two, to one. Starting off that reverse 3-0. Does he believe? Does he believe? The anti airs are on point. The down four jaguars are on point. Command grab combos. It's looking pretty good here. Does Hatman opt to switch? I believe he said he does play the Jackie. Does he switch to the Jackie, or is he gonna keep the katana? I think the katana is working, but it seems like pop tart might have gotten a little bit of a download here. 
Yeah, the thing is, but uh, I would say I would rather him go to Shane rather than to Jackie because mm. he all fought to Shane because he knows Pop Tart knows the um, Jackie matchup because he's played hijinks and jukes a lot. So, but the Shane matchup with Kotal, I feel like that would kind of frustrate Pop Tart just a little bit too. So, and also having the ability to uh, take it so also be a big thing as well. So yeah, that's why I agree. The Shane is going to be the pick. Mm. Got to be the Shane for this matchup. I'm curious as to which one, what kind of variation they picked. I saw some interesting things in there. Did I see, did I see the damage buff or did I? Oh no, okay, let's switch again. Okay, let's see what he's opting with for the Shang pick. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm out here taking notes, bro. I need to learn how to beat Kotal. <laughs> yeah, he definitely, uh, he has Shake up or Like I was like, no, nah, Shake is not gonna do much yet. He needs those up skulls, and he has exploding corpses too, so he's gonna get the combo off the corpse drop. Mm. And the vile sorcery, really underrated Shang Tsung move. It either. Buffs his damage that your opponent takes or nerfs your opponent's damage output. So really, really good options there. You can really just destroy health bars. Starts with a stand three. Try to Oh, okay. That cat might actually be good. The buff or the debuff still oh hits though. My. Just get hit. Just get hit, bro. That's it. That's how you win. You just get hit against Kotal. Oh. Throw. That one's antsy. Oh, we have those. Oh, chicken one more. Oh, two. Damage. Uh-oh, the Shang pick. Now with his back to the corner, Shang does definitely does not want to be there. Jumps out with the jump boot. I believe I saw a throw attempt there. Gets interrupted. Down Wait, fours, though. Down four? The throw, though. Oh, my back God. Throw. Up the corner. So you got real estate. You got up school? No, he tried to anti. Oh, this ain't looking good. Explosive corpse. Wait, did, how did that not combo? I'm... I'm like 90% sure that's supposed to combo. Uh, what? That was back three up four, right? I believe so. And Dude, it wasn't happening. What? We're not having none of that. It's like saying that cash. doesn't work. Yeah. Oh, it's low. Just over here, go to the other side. Hey, yo. Oh, we outspacing that with a fireball. Did the corpse drop. No, anti. Try to relate though. Can I get a command grab? No, we can get There's the down four jack. I'm screaming. Con appearance. Get shimmed. The oh my move. dude, one 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 throw. <laughs> what do you do against that? Us? Oh, we masked though. We'll drink some more blood. You're not supposed to be alive. Get your ass back to the corner. Let me throw this barrel at you. No, he didn't. Just minus six. Antis! Dude, the oh, anti airs from Pop are insane right now. Did we get the flaws block? That could have been bad. Oh, he gets the flaws block. What? That time, no. Into the bro, setup. Bro. Oh my god. Oh. Yo! Yo! Oh, okay, dude. That's what we're doing. That's what you're gonna do <laughs> to tie this one up two games apiece. That's how we're looking. Dude, these anti airs are disgusting. They Wait, are gross. Wait a second. Hey, uh, what we got here? Hat uh, Akuma, you see that? It says GG, I gotta go? Hatman? He can't play the last match? Oh, don't tell me, bro. Does he have to leave? Oh, no. Hatman, do you gotta go? For real? That was such a sad, bro. Does he really have to leave? I Does need to see that reverse 3 0. <laughs> well. Damn. Bro, that was such a good set. Unfortunate. Oh. Unfortunate. Damn, Hatman. GG's, my friend. GG's. That was a really good set, man. That katana was looking gross, dude. That katana was actually disgusting. Unfortunate. But. That does mean that we're going to see Pop-Tart versus Unjust in our semifinals. And again, we'll break it down for you guys. Both of those players need a win in order to solidify their spot in our finale next week. And this is single limb. That match is going to come down to who takes the W, which is literally disgusting. Hatman, I wish we could have seen the rest of that, but we are going to be getting Unjust versus Pop-Tart in our semifinals of week seven. Doesn't get better than that. That is going to be a sick one. We got two more round one matches to go. Again, this is all single elimination. First to three up until our grand finals tonight, which will be first to five. But again, Pop Tart versus Unjust battling for tournament life coming up in the semifinals after two more sets. Don't know. Pento looking disappointed. That's just, that's just so much to think about. Like Pop Tart, <laughs> Unjust, like playing for the see who can make it. And they need to win. They Not just that set, they need to win the entire thing. And it's just gonna be crazy to think about that. But guys, the next round, as he just said, the next match we're going to the lower side of the bracket, it's gonna be patient impulse.
and Hayate going at it. Patient Impulse making his first appearance here in Season 3, rocking that rating. Hayate. He wants to get to Grand Finals. He's already secured, but he wants to get some more points so he can um, better um, have a better look himself in the path when it comes to that finale of the top eight. Mm -hmm. Guys, exclamation point, Matt Reno in the chat. We already, yeah, I believe already 740, 750. Insane. Oh, so yeah. my God. We started at 660. Yo, do y'all really want me to take this shot? I'm, I'm, I was playing. Okay, okay. <laughs> like I said, if you guys get to 800, we're going to get that shot. Uh, but hey, thank you guys so much. You're raising this money for the players. If we get to $1,000, that'd be fucking incredible. But the players have been showing out. Everything you can read to the players for the community has been great. Also, speaking of community, join our community. Exclamation point members in the chat if you want to join in that YouTube membership. That YouTube membership is exactly, and I mean exactly like Twitch subscription. It's just going to be on YouTube. You get to hang with us for the Coliseum during matchmaking, everything that's in between, and get the inside scoop on what goes on behind the scenes, scenes at the Coliseum studio. So please become a YouTube member today. Hit that estimation point members in the chat if you want to join up. But that match arena is looking juicy. Oh, oh my God. Oh, yes. These guys have been gaming for two months, and they're going to be able to take a nice slice of whatever that becomes by the end of next week. And again, exclamation point member in the chat. Thank you, Rick. And join our Discord. Follow us over at the Coliseum on Twitter. Keep up to date with all the things going on. We might have some announcements coming up. We're going to be finishing up here, the finale of MKX and MK11. And then who knows? Maybe something happens. The only way to know is if you're in our Discord or follow us on Twitter. But again, thank you guys for the donations. We got Hayate versus Impulse coming up. I'm Yo. super excited for this, man. I love watching Fujin, and I was a Raiden main uh, for a very long time. So this is gonna be absolutely uh, awesome you, to see. You, you Twitch chat? You see? You see the wing god? You see? You see? You see the tight champs in the chat? They they rooting for the boy. <laughs> the wing gods are here. They They're know. here, man. They are here. Oh god, they I in. I gotta say, man, it's gotta be one of the best Fujins in the world. Like. The amount of time that Hayate has put into Fujin is insane. And watching what this guy does, when he's just playing like a regular combat league match or something, is literally just disgusting, man. I'm just like, how does your brain like transfer that to the controller? Like, it is just insane the stuff that this guy's doing with Fujin. Absolutely love seeing it. But I will say, I'm not sure what kind of Raiden Impulse plays, but there is that down back two move that just takes everything out of the sky. I'm wondering if he's gonna be bringing that for the matchup. I don't even know what it's called. I was a Raiden main, but hey, I use Thunder Wave Raiden, okay? Storm Cell all day. Wave as well. He's going to want to do is teleport. The thing about Patient Impulse, um, his Raiden compared to a lot of others, he uses teleport, so he, especially in the corner, so he can reverse your input for your up three and up two. That does teleport. mess you up big time. Oh, yo, he teching those, though. No, we got out here. Oh, instant challenge from Hayate. That was a great read. And oh, cancel. Oh, see, that's what I'm talking about, bro. Instant cancel with the back one into wave dashing is mind out of here dude are you kidding me stand two stagger back one stagger oh these dudes are blocking back one finally hits storm so we do got the thunder wave this is gonna be interesting these? though because the reason why i find this matchup is the patient impulse actually knows this matchup very well and he's very good at it the thing that really like i'm um, thinking about is i'm wondering uh what's the reason that he's running drill instead of push from hayate's and that means he loses the uh wing kicks for the armor break so we're gonna find out oh he's backing up though dude literally by the time i blinked Fuji was on the other side of the stage. <laughs> that wave dashing is crazy. Don't make no sense. Oh, he gets the instant that check. One back one. I mean, no. All day. Love to see in the Raiden, though. And we got the classic Mortal Kombat movie Raiden. Oh, it's so good. It is way too good. Is he going to teleport out of the corner? No. Ops for a jump. Back one pressure now. Back against the corner. Against Fuji with the drill. Tries to fight his way out. Forward 3 2 is the unspoken MVP of Raiden. I don't know why. It's literally just one of the sickest moves Raiden has, and it always works. Teleporting everywhere. My brain's starting to hurt. More teleports. I might go cross side. Back one punishes the down one after the back dash. Jump into Optimals 1 2 1. Oh no, Oscar the 1 2 and a push. Trying to get Fujin into the corner, even though Fujin just pressed down up. Oh my goodness. Dude. <laughs> my brain's in a short circuit with these teleports, bro. Come on now, don't do that to me. You two chappers really trying to get me back ahead. Oh no, he goes for that out of there. And he gets him with the back one again. Oh, gets him. Oh, oh. one. Okay, over two. He's gonna get the cancel. Tell cancel and the telly. Oh, but did he get the punch? That would've been gross oh, if we got that punish. Not death though. One last read. Thorough. Oh, that's it. Oh, that would've been it. Wait, what? You never no. see how I drop Dude, what is going on? Get though. Oh, okay, that's it, that's it. That that was a scramble there in the last 10 seconds of that round. Jeez. The deck is Rick. Can we get that a little bit? Because there was something so good that Rick did right there. That was, I mean, that uh, I, like that Rick did. All right, Rick, Rick always does nothing. Rick's out here gaming, bro. Yeah, Rick's out here gaming. Hey, we're out here. 
Always doing the nice thing, but yo, that was so good. Oh my God, dude, Jesus. That was a scramble, man. That was a scramble, that is for sure. But what's unfortunate is Patient hit the stand one, got the counter, so it would have been 1-2-1 one, one KB into round three, but unfortunately got interrupted after the stand one hits, and then it was just over from there. After a little bit of a scramble. Sheesh, man. Are we going to see it? Yeah, I think we're going to be able yeah. to see it here. The stand one hits. Oh, no, it didn't even he did hit. That. He did that the same thing twice right there. Oh. He did it again right there. As soon as he backed up because oh, he knows. Oh, no. I mean, he knows that patient impulse is going to challenge with the back one, which is why he does one, two right here. Oh, he knew the challenge was going to come. So each time he did it, you see him doing it right there again. And then the final time right here to get the fatal blow. He was looking for the challenge because he knew it was coming immediately. And all he knew is he going to get this confirmed into Fatal Blow immediately. Each time it traded, and that time, he actually got it to go through. That's why he, um, you got to be careful with patient, uh, on patient side of things because he just needs to um, be just... He needs to be more patient. <laughs> that's that's nice. the sad part about it. He just needs to be more patient in that regard because he's look, Hayate is looking to challenge that back one and any approach in that moment. And yo, that was great. One, two, oh my. Or two, one, two, just go for the push. Yes, he does. Trying to get Fujin into the corner, back to the corner. Forward three, two, boys. That's what we like to see. A little bit risky to do forward three, two as rated in the corner. If your opponent has any meter, they could just roll out, punish you, or they could up three you. So you want to be careful if you're going for that in the corner. But I'm sure Impulse already knowing that. Just trying to get that extra pressure. Oh, but here we go. Here is the pressure from Fujin. And we are back at the other side of the stage. Oh, I respect it, though. I do respect going for the Storm Cell on block. You can definitely catch your opponent with that. Oh, we got with Cancel the into short hop, dude. Are you kidding me? Cancel into short hop. And but he gets the back one. I got long range too. That's gonna be chill. That's it. Yeah, just drill. No defensive meter on raid inside. Can't really do much. Can try to jump out of it, but probably just gonna get hit by the drill regardless. A great media option there to just close out the round from Hayate. Hayate up 1-0. We're going to take this 2 lead. Gets whiff punished. Punching Raiden's after shadow, whatever you want to call it. He was gone. He was oh, not there anymore. Hard. He was on the other side. Gonna get that punish on the Mirage with 23, just like that. Needleless. More needle. Oh, who's that? Supposed to be? Oh, all right. Over there. Oh, and he knew yeah. the way the bomb was going. That was a good That's ass been working. That range has been working really well on that move as well. Okay, go more lightning bolts. Oh, no, the back two confirmed just like that. Yo, Hate is moving. He's not even playing MK11 when he plays this game, dude. I don't know what game he's playing, but it's not MK11. Teleport? Yep, it's the teleport. Yeah, was, yeah. There it's, it is. That's all you gotta do, man. With the with the fly, go teleport back one. That's it. That's all you gotta do. Crossbow's working. Back two catches. Full combo here. Just goes for the down. I didn't even know he could combo down. Oh no, he can. You get high enough, and high is gonna be known for that one too. He That's did it insane. Now. Well, win kicks, he just takes it to the corner. You know, he gets the punish. It's going to be a lot of damage. Holy shit. Double storm oh. still. No, he tried to go for the stick. Hey, yo. Four threes. Down fours. Down threes. Oh, no, he mashed, though. That's a good challenge. No, okay. if he's been... Oh, he could have just been... That's all right. That's game. Jeez, man. These... The Ooh. final seconds of all of these rounds, man, are a scramble. It's really like you could have closed it out and then you drop it and then you could close it out and then oh, and then he drops it and then he closes it out. It's like, dude, these final moments in all of these games, man, one to one, all tied up. Again, Hayate looking for the W to secure better seating for next week. Impulse putting on a show with this Raiden, man. There's really nothing else to say. Hey, you saw how that man just spontaneously combusted at the going inside. Let me, let me stop right there, actually. <laughs> all right, demonetized again. Here we go. <laughs> man, spontaneously combusted just like that. Yo, this is so good for base impulse. He almost had it right here. If he he confirmed it to the hit, but if he just went to the KB right there, oh my god. And you know what's sick about Impulse? He's teleporting into the corner. He does not give a shit. He is just teleporting into the corner. I've seen that multiple times now. He knows he's going aggressive. But you gotta do it. If you're going up against someone like Fujin or Hayate's Fujin, you gotta start making plays like that, hey man. Hey guys, I will tell you real quick from playing Patient Impulse that that is a read of reads, probably looking for an up three or an up two as well. It's an anti wake up setup. Yep. Catching Hayate off guard, Patient gaming his ass off here at the Coliseum. <laughs> those are the layers that we're at right now, man. <laughs> oh, it switches those inputs. That's uh, Patient Impulse is, he's the only read I really see do it the most where he teleports into the corner so he can reverse your inputs on rows, wake up threes and up twos. Cause it'll auto, it won't auto correct to the other side if he does it the right moment. Oh, he almost hit one. I did it. Oh my god. Oh, gets hit. Didn't think he was going to meter burn it. Oh, he Jump did. over two, catches, back ones. Oh, he teleports out of there? Oh, dude. Oh, dude. 
That is multiple times now. Impulse has backdash a down one poke and punish it with the back one. Kind of like Scorpion's game plan. Backdash the poke, go back one. Was that it? Yo, oh, in the oh, dude, if he caught that on the teleport. <laughs> no way. And this is a down two. Dude. Down. What is going on? Or three pressure. Back three. Down one pokes. This Mathis is fighting his way out. Did that trade it? Hey, yo. I think I found a way in, but he's going to do the lightning bolts all day. Teleports again. Oh, my. Over here. Down one. Four threes? Nope. Let's frame it again. Three. Nice. He does it again. Hey, hey. Not going to go into fatal. He just needs one more hit. Oh, he gets the double hit right there. The throw can do it. He tries to go for down one. And he oh, does. Oh, the, the mix, dude. The mix. <laughs> he gets the read on the read. He thought the throw was coming. The mix on the mix, man. That's what makes Raiden's back run two so deadly. It's a risk. It is most definitely a risk, but when that hits, oof. He's trying that to down one. It's because it's just Hayate coming in with that jump kick. It's making it a little bit more tough. Gonna get a flawless block? Yeah, he definitely went for the attempt right there. But that overhead coming in strong. He tried to get the punish. And the match Reno oh. has crossed $800. Eight, oh, we were at six six. I got the crack started. Oh my goodness, thank you so much guys. We'll be sure to do all the shout outs for the match arena after these guys are done duking it out. But geez, $800. Thank you guys so much. Not like... Oh? Oh my god, there's no way he does this. Tell me he does this right now to Hayate. Tell me this happens. Forward three pressure, down three. Oh, you hit it right there, you went for it. And nah, he ship out. Him by the drill? Did he go for up too late? I wonder who it was. Hmm. Gonna get Final it. round. Teleporting into the corner, teleporting right out. Oh, what's the neck of his? He gets a roll, but he doesn't get the punish. He gets the feet. Yeah, just... I Dude, I like the back three pressure, man. That is gross. He's going for max damage here? Yes, he is. Double meter burn? No. Forward three pressure. Bro, get off me. Text the throw. Oh. oh, dude, so close. He's just catching it again. Dude, just put it. It. Oh, that's it. My flawless. Flawless. Flawless <laughs> victory. Into brutality what is against high right now? Brother versus bro. bro. Let me find out right in the better brother. Bro. Patient impulse, ladies and gentlemen. And as a reminder, Hayate is guaranteed into the finale. He's the seventh seed right now. He's trying to get some points for seeding. If, if, if he gets one win here, if he's able to make the comeback happen, he will pass Tweety in points. If not, he'll be staying down there below Tweety by 10. Patient impulse. Whew, some of the stuff we're seeing. It is ridiculous, man. It wouldn't be the final week of Coliseum Season 3 without some insane stuff happening like we're seeing here tonight, man. From Game 1, Round 1, all the way up to now. I mean, geez, it just speaks for itself. Does Hayate opt to switch? Nope. Sticks with the drill variation. Impulse. One game away. Matchup at all. And yeah, that's why I see him sticking with it. But like, patient is just really, he's just being annoying with the teleports. Is Hayate, like, he looked actually lost. Looked like he was walking forward at one point because of the teleports going east to east side. It's not even a back to block game. Man was walking forward. Imagine, imagine MK was back to block and he was doing this stuff. Oh, hell no. They dub it, GG. I will quit. I will be just a commentator for this. <laughs> Alright, picks it up. Gets to stand 4-2 into the drill restand. Okay, just doing some Oh my dude, you don't even know where he at where he's gonna be. He's either he's gonna like wave dash forward, wave dash backward, wave dash forward, and then you're dead. Like you don't even know what happens. Oh yes. Oh that is so gorgeous. The throw? Ooh, I wouldn't put throw right there. Antis? No, it was late. That was a counter hit. I don't know what he went for right there. It was a counter hit, it was a late anti, but man, he's gonna get killed for it. And Hayate looking completely different here in our game four, where he only took 12 damage in that round. But again, Impulse with that flawless last game to close it out. Jeez, that was gross. Those back three staggers are working. Finally, a throw gets through. Help was on the side, and it was late on the down four. That's all I can say, man. This is some of the nastiest raiding I've seen. Yo, another one. <laughs> Oh, he's gonna get to the other Oh, it's caught. Oh, no. Get your ass back. He's, back. <laughs> he's like, get back in there. What are you doing? Pokes back ones. Brothers do fight. <laughs> and these brothers are get it out. Yes, man. Back dash, back one. Oh, he went for the early throw. And he's gonna get checked by the mid. Hold on. High after. Gonna get a needle. He's back one catches. Oh, he went with Vader. That would have been it. The flaws block. Clutch. 
And that's gonna be you. Back one punch. Game. Sudden death. Oh man. We got it. Nice. We got ourselves a sudden death. The teleporting Raiden, the swag from Hayate's Fujin, and we got ourselves. Chat, 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 chat. This is ridiculous. <laughs> it's too much. This is too fucking much. Ty Champ is in the building. Guess what? Posting info. Facing that post. Trying to do something. Oh my god. I gotta say, the interaction between these two characters is actually awesome, man. I know people talk about MK11's combo system and stuff, but the things that these two characters are doing on screen is ridiculous. <laughs> I really don't like I'm getting peer pressure by chat. I know I, I, I know what I said. I will do it. Give me a <laughs> It is actual, like, this is what they teach you. This is literally peer pressure I'm seeing in chat. Like, everyone's peer pressure me in chat. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, take full, I take full responsibility. <laughs> I, we got to wait. We're going to, we're going to, I'm going to, I promise I'm going to take the shot as soon as this match is over. But we got ourselves a sudden death, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to hear. Lots of music in the background. You can see the um, scoreboard go up in flames. And just like that, we are lighting the Coliseum on fire. Game number five in our round one match. Hayate looking for better placing. Impulse looking to put a statement down. Saying, Hayate, you are staying right where you are. I am gatekeeping this with these teleports. Game five, Hayate's Fujin. Impulse is Raiden. Who moves on the semifinals? This is Raiden. More than chat for patient impulse. Two's in the chat for Hayate. You don't want to take it. Is the other side? Oh no, he can cancel. He can go to those cancels. Oh, oh. Oh. You know Teleports out of the back too. What a good timing. I guess it's down to 31%. Not too bad. Ooh, me oh, okay, this might hurt him. Teleporting into the corner, finally might hurt him. Okay, cannot switch. I think Hayate just tried to cancel the Skywalker on the other it side and get Raiden back into the corner. I didn't know. Four threes, all day. Staggers, staggers. Okay, back one's working. Hayate fighting his way out of the corner. It's Hayate. Oh, I almost got done space. Close frames. Use it down one. And oh, and he finally catches him. That's it. I believe. Oh, but we'll see if that makes a difference. I, uh, it's Raiden. He could just teleport at the beginning of the round. I was going to yeah. say, he knocked him out of the corner. Teleport characters, they don't care about the corner. <gasps> okay, he's not going to teleport. He's going to electric fly KB for 25%. I, dude, I, I was a Raiden man. I forgot that move existed in KB. Do you Jeez, remember when Raiden man. players said that that would never, ever <laughs> be seen in a tournament match? Let them be wrong. Three on this years day. later, Let we saw it in a tournament be match. Wrong on this day. That's no honest. Oh, no. Oh. You need it. A three stand, corner pressure, back ones. Okay, fighting his way out of the corner here again. Catches them pressing with the back one. Don't tell me. Not like this. Not like this. This is literally just one hit at the fatal. Makes you read on the teleport. No. Oh, he tried to play punish. Cancel. Jump in. Jump in three is going to work. You, if he teleports at the right time and catches back one, that's going to be it. Oh my I'm goodness. Dude, my palms are sweating. I'm between the two players. Oh palms sweating. God. Catches him with the forward one. He, Impulse was winning the matches when he was going with that forward one too. I'd like to see it a little bit more, but doesn't matter oh. here. Going to have Hayate in the corner. We haven't seen any in these Everything's getting teched. Oh, oh, Finally uses the back one to throw. That was the first um, time we saw game five to use it. Oh, good down to lift. Cool combo when you get a break. Hey, he catch him on the oh, back. caught him he pressing. Is that gonna be it? A little bit of health left. Okay. Interactable. 49 health. What do you do? That's just drill. That's drill all day. Over three. Oh, Catches him with the down one, man. Wow, that dude, that might be set of the night. That was crazy. That, 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 There's that, no that. other words for that right now. Hayate advancing to the semifinals, getting some more points again, looking for a better option in seating as he's pretty much set for the finals. Just wants, you know, a little bit more, a little bit more uh, training going on. That's what he's looking for. <laughs> and some extra points to get some better seating for the finale next week. Impulse, dude, you got a new fan tonight. That was one of the grossest ratings I've ever seen, man. Those teleports, the back one pressure, that was great. The down three and the back three? That was just gross, man. Well done. GG's, dude. GG's to Patient Impulse. Hayate, we'll see you in the semifinals tonight. And we'll also be seeing you next week. Thanks. And I believe since we hit over $800, Aquaman and Tento, they got to do a little, uh, they're going to have to do a little something for you guys here. I'll be the responsible one. A little something? Offer. This is going to be a lot of something for the <laughs> yeah, a lot no, you're right, you're right. of money.
that our viewers have donated to the prize pool, we have surpassed $800 on the season. Thank you to every single one of you. This is going to the eight players that are going to be making the finale, and it's going to be going down next Sunday, and we're finding out who that last one's going to be. Tento, that's the biggest smile I've ever seen on that. I got a screen grab that. Me? I got a screen grab that. <laughs> I've never seen a more happy human being than what Tento looked like right there. He, he he's seeing some good ass Mortal Kombat. That's for sure. And we're about to take a, Kombat, and, and, you know what? About to take a good ass shot. This is for every single one of you. Thank you so much. Cheers. Eight hundred. <laughs> Big cheers, man, dude. Eight hundred dollars for MK11 alone. Doesn't get any better than that. Big shout out. I think while we got a second, while the boys are recovering, this wouldn't be possible without you guys. You know, of course, the players, the commentators, Aquaman, Rick, they all play their part. But it's you guys that keep watching the VODs, that hang out with us in chat during the actual live streams, leaving comments on the YouTube, retweeting, tweeting at us, all that good stuff. Man, we appreciate it so much. And that's it's all for you guys, man. We These players put on a great show. We hope we do some great commentary for you. And you guys just sticking around and watching. That's really what matters. But $800! And these players are going to be battling it out next week during the finale for a slice of that prize pool, man. Sheesh. You guys can still donate, too. Like, if we can buy, even during the finale, too, as well. Yep. If you guys can get us to $1,000, that would be crazy. And that's going to look really good for you, too, by the way, too. So if you guys can do that. <laughs> it'll, look, it'll look good on the thumbnail. I can just put $1,000 on the thumbnail, and we'll get the clicks. There we go. Gonna, you can put $1,000 on the thumbnail. It's going to be boop. And Rick saying thanks to love on TikTok. For those of you guys that don't know, we are literally on everything. Yes. I don't think Instagram, but Twitter, TikTok, YouTube. Be sure to give us a follow on all of those. Coliseum, putting out content for you guys. That's what we want to do around here. Jeez, dude, this has been a night. We're only, what are we? Are we done with round one or we still have another game? How one do more we still match. have another game in round one? one How, dude, this has been match. insane. We had I don't think I can take this some, anymore. We had someone leave mid-match and it's still going And on. it's still going, yeah. We didn't have a full set in round one and this is still going. This is crazy. We got Scar versus Turkey. Likely to see the Jade versus Kotal, I would assume. How many more buff Kotals do I have to see in the chat before we're done with this? <laughs> <laughs> there just might be a couple of more, ladies and gentlemen. All right, invites are out. Scar, Turkey, both of them also finalists here. And Hayate with that win. If you remember, if you remember, I was saying that actually had a little bit of implication in the finale. Good word. Good word. There's a decent word. Hey, there, there it is. He actually surpasses Tweety by getting 25 more points with a victory. Um, he was only 10 behind. If he gets another victory, he'll be able to pass Turkey as well. And Turkey looking to get some more points here. Scar sitting at first place. He mm -hmm. ain't going nowhere. He's the number one seed of season three. Can we talk about that? We got to interview him and he mm -hmm. first started competing in Coliseum season two ever. And then he became the one seed. We, oh, we're about we, are we looking for the next ninja? Are we looking for the next good, great player? The dude walked in and he's the one seed on every single one of you. That's a fucking statement. That, that is a big goddamn statement. Jesus you, Christ, like, take over, because that shot's Scar. kicking in. Scar <laughs> is my most improved player. Like Scar's been playing since about like since the game has came out, and like I've seen him from where he's been at Outworld, going to um the big shouts to Hot Rod doing this thing over there. While he's playing on uh, Outworld Television, to now like he is really my advocate for the most improved player here for MK11. He has been showing out, and I don't know any more statement he has to do right there. It's number one seed for season three of the Coliseum. That's a great statement. Wow, I sorry. see a noob on the screen. Don't tell me. Bro, I am sitting back and getting a treat, and I got both of my mains back-to-back -back games. Are you kidding me? Scar, Richard a noob? Has any, Tento, have you seen this? Yeah, actually, I messed with this pick. The reason why he's doing this for two reasons. He already secured himself in the, um, in the, the finale for top eight. Um, yes. for the, that's where the money is counting. For. He wants to test out things to go against Kodo because he actually does not like the Jade and Kodo uh, matchup. So wow. he's just testing out things right now. And I greatly agree with this pick because he already got the points. He's already in top. He's already in the uh, a finale, uh, a finalist. He's number one. He uses time to lab. And especially because he knows he's going to go against at least two Kodos in that fucking <laughs> Minimum. Yes, he, he knows this already. He's going to be labbing this matchup. So I, I definitely agree with this pick right now. And I like and the I variation that he's using for Noob as well, man. Low slide, goes for the Ghost Ball projectile. A lot of people write off that projectile for Noob, but I think it's critical to have, man. Having any type of projectile, also one of the hardest hitting projectiles in the game, doing 90 base damage, just like that. We're going to be using the back one. Down three staggers, one, one, three. Low slide catches. It's just one hit into GG's. Noob will delete your health bar. I think his third variation ability is going to be Sickle Snag. 
So going to be finding those big damage combos. 2-1-2 two, two is going to hit. Oh, goes for 2-1. Oh. Oh, Texit! Right, that's going to go through it. Because Dude, it's Jaguar. Oh, out my green. gosh. I know it. I got to somebody say low tier and fucking noob. No, noob is not low tier. Noob, noob is actually low key. Buff noob. For all the people saying buff gold, I'm going to say what buff noob, bro. Noob oh. is literally sleeper top 10. Like, no cap. This man has damage. He has the out output. He has good KDs. He has, he has a nine frame mid. Like, I'm sorry. This, he's, just, he's definitely, definitely sleeper top 10 that people don't even use. Ooh, that was These anti-airs nice. tonight, man. Anti-airs are absolutely critical, as you can see at this stage in the game. The anti-airs are working. Big damage also as well. Forward 3-4. Oh my goodness. Staggers the stand one goes in the command grab. Down ones. Gotta fight his way out of the corner. Meter burns the slide, gets grabbed, throw counter. Turkey. Look for game one. It's gonna be last breath territory. Do not Unfortunately, Scar has been dropping that 2-1-2 combo. It is, it's it's pretty tight to hit that. You know, first game, maybe he's got to get the warm-up out of the way. Oh, that's going to be it. Teleport. All you got to do is teleport. Nope. <laughs> Dude, it touched, it literally touched, like, the toe of Noob's boot. Not even part of his foot. There's, like, a little toe piece. It hit him, Noob died. I think I, I think it's all it touches uh, his own goddamn sickle. The damn sickle. But 1-0. Turkey. Look can find himself in the semifinals. Scar, is he going to stick with the new pick or does he switch to Jade? And I think there's actually a crazy stat. Aquaman, whenever you have the chance, could we get the total amount of wins that Scar has on season three? Like, oh, what, was, what was his, oh, his win-loss? Scar, the entire season three, has gone, before this tournament, 43 and 13. Okay, dude. All right. he, has, <laughs> he, has, he has also survived. He's tied for having survived the most sudden deaths on the season as well, which oh, is another one. Oh, that's one. sick. Yeah, he, he, he has 13 sudden deaths so far, plus whatever he had today. 13 sudden deaths from Scar. He's been in 13 sudden death situations. If you guys do not know, sudden death is game fives. That's that's how much, or game fives or game nines, if he was Or game player. nines, yep. Times two. So yep. that man was down to the wild and he clustered it out because as you guys see, he's number one seed. So that means he clustered out more than anything. So that's crazy in itself. But like I said- I mean, that record did. It's crazy. I expect him to stick with the new just because, um, like, it's, 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 this is the time for him to practice this matchup, mm -hmm. just explore things. Bottom line, I know he, he, when everything's said and done, he's going to pick. He can pick Jay for the matchup. He, he knows the matchup with Jay. Jay just isn't. Him. But uh, by all means, if he can explore different things, I would do it too. Oh my! That's what's God. super cool about this week seven situation, man. We're getting players that just trying out new stuff. We got gatekeeping players out here. We got everything here in week number seven. Ooh, that was oh, that was good. Tried to get the entire. He tried. It was stand for back, so then he didn't get down for it. He's gonna get double dip to the corner. Another command grab. No, we got a conversion. Almost. Oh, he went for the tick. Just get hit. That's the tech. Thank you for a ride. I'm gonna get the restand. Wait, was he running sickle snag last game, or did he have teleport the entire time? Yeah, I think he had teleport the entire time. Oh yeah, teleport. Um, uh, variation dark pulse. Big shout out to Pulse, by the way. Freaking Valorant, bro. Just see Kodal's. Kodal would be dead right now if it wasn't for that extra 50 health. People sleep on that 50 health. And unfortunately, the noob slide did get nerfed. I was talking to Aquaman a little bit about that oh, in the no. pre show, dude. Once noob got that slide nerfed, oh, pain. Oh, wait. One, two tick throws. This is close. Again, Kodal should be dead right now, but 1050 health. That's all I'm saying. Down four to try to push his way out of the corner. Give himself a little bit of breathing room. Let me chip. Five seconds left on the clock. Chips it out. As soon as he did cat his block, minus seven, that means you got to take whatever some of your you flaws blocking. He did not have any box. Papa he has Con's pizza. Gone, 250 for the Papa Con pizza. Big shout out to Aquaman. I know you guys serve it up back there. I know I want a Papa Con pizza, Aquaman. Give me some, please. Oh, that, the par projectile parry from Kotal takes just the raw slide. Not even the meter burn one, it takes the raw slide, which is a low. That's it's, busted. Ooh, thought the breakaway was coming, but no, it did not. Getting health back though, sitting in the corner, just turtling up in the sun. Why not? Gets the throw, throw tech, down three, down four. Jaguar, one, one, three is gonna combo. Does he go for the back two armor breaker? He does not, he looks for the damage. Having a normal as your armor breaker is actually really big and new having a decent one too, but it's just like, it's-, it's You gotta like, make the read. It's definitely a read though. If you make the read, it's great. If you don't, your combo ends at like 21%. Yep, I'm not gonna get any damage. Another check, yes. Boss block. Knew that jail was coming. 
one to catches him. Now one poke special, one. man. This is this is season one combat league all over again. So double down three, and he tried to down two the man's. No, you're gonna die for it. And he's gonna catch it. Oh, it's the corner with Cat. That was so smart. Hey guys, real quick on the flip side, um, Turkey going 30 and 12. This season, not as many Jeez. games won, similar matches lost. And just because I have it pulled up, the most matches won and played in the entirety of the season, going to Honeybee. Honeybee, there we go. 50, 52 and 24 on the regular season. Going into today, he definitely got some more. Breaks the 50 bomb, man. That's disgusting. But that is what's so sick about matchmaking. One of the this format, Aquaman, it's too good, man. Players are playing, what, 60 matches? It's too good over the course of the season. But this is just a projectile where that ghost ball has oh, got the health lead. Oh, never mind. It's gone. Oh, my God. Oh, gets the down to whip punish. Who the hell was he swinging at? Casper and his uncles? What the hell? The fuck? 36%. You holding that. Flaws blocks. But guess what? You got to guess what another command grab. <laughs> oh, he calls it. At the corner, double dip. Guess what? Sunlight. Praise the sun. It's over. You can't That's do anything. It. That's it. Give me another looking, one. Looking like sunlight is super effective against dark out there. Literally, sunlight is very effective. And there we have it, Turkey. Going up 2-0. Now, does Scar stick with the noob or does he switch to try to go for that reverse 3-0 sweep and make a little nah. bit of a statement here before the finale? In my, in my opinion, I would say just stay as, either stay as noob or just pick another character that you want to lab with because, like I said, he's like, all right, I get it. Oh, yeah, I see Scar. He's typing in the chat. All right, I get it. Um, yeah, it's... Scar, you're the one seed. Go random select, bro. <laughs> <laughs> if he... For Turkey, if he gets a win, he's actually 30 points right now behind Honeybee. If he wins, he only gets 25 points, so it's not really going to matter. If he wants to change his positioning, he's going to need to make the finale, or the finals, the grand finals of mm. the top eight here tonight. And oh, no. Oh, no. And he, he's, he opts for the statement approach here. <laughs> He wants to give everybody a taste of what's to come here in the finale next Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern here on the Coliseum YouTube and Twitch channels. No way, is that Matrix in the chat? Yo, big shout out to Matrix. Hope college is going well for you, guy. Hope you're doing well. Man's been on this games. Man hasn't right. spoken in this chat in two years, but the moment Noob Saibot's on the screen, he of says course. nothing. Yeah, I, I was about to see the exact same thing. He sees his man on the screen. He says, yeah, let me just go ahead and say something real quick. Yo, big shout out to Matrix, though. Hope you're doing well, Kenny. Oh, and he, oh my goodness. Clip that and put it on Twitter, please. That was OD. Knowing that oh, Scar was going to flaws block that, going for the parry in a minute. Going 40. for the KB. That was. Oh my goodness, whip punishes. Back two, though. That back two's got some range. Yo, cheers to Alex, Alexis, by the way. Alexis also, um, happy birthday. Happy birthday to Alexis in the YouTube side of things. Yes, is the wrong way. Oh, I was off with the YouTube Coliseum member. I'm sorry. That was a lovely job, miss. That's the throw. You know, YouTube member. Oh, it's game. Oh, no. Runs out. Oh, Up there. Game. 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 Cheers, yeah, Alex big shout out to Alex Alex. becoming a Coliseum member over on the YouTube side. We appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. Hey guys, if you do not know, we are streaming simultaneously on YouTube and Twitch at the same time. Everything you see on the YouTube, I mean, on the Twitch side of things right here will be uploaded directly onto YouTube as well as all the other weeks for MKX and MK11 action. So please, if you have not done so already, subscribe to the motherfucking Coliseum Studios. Couldn't have said it better myself. Down four into Jaguar. Dude, Ooh, the reeds. The reeds, bro. Do it. That's really it. I need to know. <laughs> I just really need to know. He went for the throw. Yo, Scar, I need you to fire on all cylinders. You want to try to take this right now. Turkey looked like he's trying to run away. And Scar, you, um, not look like you don't catch him. Down ones, down ones. Oh my God. It's, that it's tough for Jade, man. She, she ups for the more like hit you many times and do little bits of damage at a time. Oh. And Kotal just deletes your health bar. So, I mean, we'll see. We'll see. Fatal Blow is active. Back three is a mix up. You could go into Delia's Dance or Fatal Blow. Obviously, In my opinion, the reason why I feel like Scar is really losing the most is that um, Turkey is actually, in my opinion, the scariest Kotal to give him with hmm. out of every Kotal player. Oh, down threes. Command grab. Right no, he corner. Oh, with interrupts it. Interrupts command grab. Gets it down four. Again, and the you Jaguar. Oh, he broke away. He's still alive. 
What's the you option? You don't have the lead. You don't have the lead. Kotal should what? be dead right now. The extra 50 health is broken oh, down for The extra 50 health comes in yet again. Oh, man, dude. Kotal ending with 24 health. That extra 50 health. Turkey securing the 3 0 against our. Okay. Okay, dude. Um, what? Okay. Um, excuse me? We had $25 coming from Andrew Wiley. We had $175 saying, let's get this prize pool up to an even stack. Let's go. That's coming in from Alchemist Joker. Alchemist Joker, thank you so much. And to everyone, what the fuck just <laughs> happened? Dude. 1, 1k 1k guys thank you so much we broke 1000 for season three you just made wow. the youtube video is bringing in like you know an extra 20,000 views so we greatly appreciate that <laughs> yeah i'm putting 1000 dollars right on the crap. youtube thumbnail now because of you guys thank you now we're gonna look great because everybody's like oh 1000 dollar tournament jeez guys thank you so much the matcherino incredible again I said it before when we hit 800, I'll say again. None of this would be possible without you guys, the players. Jeez, it's just too good. I know, Tento's gonna get a smile do, again. We gotta do it I've again. got a screen <laughs> grab that smile he had before. And Rick, every single time you guys hit a milestone, Tento, you, you gotta just show it. You gotta Tento, just you show it. Do it again, do it again, do it again. I'm get a double, match. get ready? a double. Ready? ready? I'm gonna cut myself out of this. This is just for you guys. <laughs> All right, get that screen grab. Send it to me, and that's that's gonna be the banner on the Coliseum Twitter page. It will be terrible, guys. Guys, thank you so much. One K, one K, like one one thousand dollars is on the line. Dead game, by the way. A dead game, by the way. We you don't touch that money. Team. That's that's only to the players too. It's like directly to the players. You thank you. We're battling it out next week for a slice of that prize pool, man. And again, it's gonna be open if you guys are watching this on the future. On the YouTube channel, just look in the description. The Matcherino link will be in there. And then during the finale, for everybody here that's live, I'm sure we'll keep the Matcherino open up until the end of the finale. So it's only going to get bigger from here. The stakes are even higher for these players. we got a couple of players playing tonight that are going to be in that top eight next week. And we actually have a pretty interesting match coming up as we move into our semifinals. Rick, hit that bracket one more time for us real quick. Because as you guys can see, we have Mighty Unjust versus Pop-Tart. Both of these players this need the a W. They both need a W, and in a single elimination format, guess what? Only one is going to come out on top. Either Mighty Unjust or Pop-Tart. Both need a W to secure their spot in the top eight next week. It's going to be a battle, man. And then the last spot has been filled. Scar dropping 0-3 against Turkey. So Turkey will be advancing and playing as Hayate. But semifinals right around the corner. Tento, you ready? Yep. Gentlemen, sorry. Sorry that I, um, I pulled on that by a minute. Right. No, <laughs> I apologize. By all means, this is about the players, and this is a huge one coming up, but I, me, me and Tento, when that money Yeah, you guys are waiting. Y'all are waiting. But, like, I'm not it's responsible time. for anything that happens on the mic after this moment, when you guys know that right now, so. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Cheers gentlemen. Everyone. It's been a hell of a season, man. It has been a hell of a season, that is for sure. Coliseum Season 3, what a ride. What a ride. That's why that's why Aquaman's behind the scenes today. Woo! He's like, exactly. we might we might raise a lot of money. I'm just gonna be behind the scenes tonight. I'm not gonna lie. I spelled money on just name wrong twice when I just started inviting him right now. But guys, I, this is this I see is, every time. Go on, sorry. This is the mighty unjust versus Pop Tart. Let me talk about what is on the line here because really, almost everything is on the line. No matter what, both players realistically need to win the entire thing to have a chance of making the finale. That's insane pressure, let alone they're playing each other for not that spot, but for a chance at that spot mm -hmm. by whoever wins between Hayate and Turkey happens to be two of the best players on planet Earth. Now, for the Mighty um, Unjust, it's a little bit different. If he wins, he actually secures going to a tiebreaker against the other two players that are tied for eighth seed in the finale. This is how fucking crazy it's getting. Are you guys following <laughs> along? I, I know I've been drinking. So I hope I so I hope I'm making sense. But if Unjust makes finals, he will tie Aztec and Ludi, and it will come down to a triple tiebreaker, and that's where their stats across the entire season come into play. If Pop Tart wins, he's still not secured. Pop Tart needs to win the entire tournament to make the finale. This is some huge shit. 
He, he needs a spirit bomb for you guys. So if you guys want Pop-Tart to win, and I want to see the bracket get shaken up, you need to Pop-Tart to win. Also, big shout out to Foxy Grandpa with the 280. Big raid. Ooh, dang, oh, Foxy. We just hit $1,000 for the prize pool of the finale, and we got the big raid. And these matches have massive implications for them. Shout out to Talkman for that word. But geez, Coliseum, <laughs> Week 7, MK11. I, the story is literally writing itself here, guys. The story is literally writing itself here. I cannot wait for Mighty Unjust versus Pop-Tart. We've had some ridiculous sets tonight. But now, with everything on the line coming up in the semifinals, it just it can't get better than that. I'm, I'm curious to see who Mighty Unjust picks. He did bring out the spawn in round one. And now Pop-Tart, of course, going to be going with the Kotal pick. So we'll see what Mighty Unjust chooses. Known for counterpicking. So I'd like to see what his option for a counter pick is going to be against the Kotal Khan from Pop Tart, who one of the deadliest Kotals in the game. This top four is stacked, Tento. It's, it's stacked. Instant Jackie. He's going Jackie for this matchup. Mm. The reason why he's going for Jackie in this matchup is just the damage over time to Goop. Even though he knows Pop Tart knows the matchup, nobody wants to play the fucking Jackie matchup. The fuck will play <laughs> this girl leaping across the fucking screen all the time. Nobody. Nobody want to play that shit. We have been seeing, though, Kotal's, I believe, his down back too, right? His armor breaker. That takes Jackie right out of the sky. We were seeing that a little bit last week, if I'm not mistaken, or at some point. But that's so maybe that's the option right there. Go for the no, down back too. Creation, that's the thing. Pop Tart's not that type of player. The only player you really see, the only two people you really, Kotal's you really see using that, well, three, is Aquaman, Aztec, and. Uh, yeah, yeah, Azrael. Azrael. That's, that, that's mm. it. Those are the only codes you really see used that. Other than that, you don't really see the other codes using that too much. That down two was stiff as hell. God damn. Yo, big shots to girl in the background dead ass watching this match unfold. Act pro. Tento, you love Goro's <laughs> dead ass in the background, bro. <laughs> Every watching. time, bro. I'm starting to think it's your favorite stage, dude. That man back here just chilling. Wondering why he got killed. Just watching the match. Here for eternity. Just chill. Buff MKX Goro. Pop tart, though. Down to 85 health. Unjust is going with the Jackie pick. Tento did make the read. Praising the sun. Get a little bit of health back. Just going to turtle up for a little bit. And by a little bit of health back, I mean quite a significant amount of health back. Jackie going for the forward three. Unjust. Is he going to leap? Nope. Doesn't get caught by the forward two. Down threes. Down fours. Sets up the goop. Pressure. Forward three pressure. Air pressure. Back three. Back one, I believe. Or back one. That's going to close it out. That extra 50 health, though, from Kotal is coming in clutch. It's, it's been working. Fuck. The down three. And immediately other side unjust wants this really badly but pop tart like we said he needs this in order to make it into the finale he needs to win the whole tournament so he needs to take out just right here right now unjust down four jaguar is gross man oh my god the stick for already starting double dip to the corner that's a young lady you're throwing cold that's un that's disrespectful man all right gonna get hey hey more sure you can on deck not down 400 40 percent 4-0. And setting up damage over time. Yo, that down oh one. my goodness. That down one was gross. <laughs> down one anti-air. Into the dash. Goes back to. Sit in the goop. Ooh, boy, the it's given so much malice this whole entire like tournament for him. That one checks. We got 4 one two to throw. Breaking Kobe's back. Man already got his head cut off. Man, he's breaking his back. Oh, that's it. Oh, drops it. Uh-oh. Oh. Dude, do not give Kotal the advantage. I don't think this is going to kill. It's I think not. I've been wrong 98.5% of the time, but I don't think he's going to kill. 950 health? Uh, no, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Or two, it's sunlight's not going to kill. You shouldn't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Makes the read on the tick throw, dude. Unjust is like, I got to win? Okay. If I got to win, this is what we're going to do. <laughs> if I got to win this tournament this week, this is what we're doing. Unjust, 1-0. Over Pop Tart makes the read, jumps out of the down one tick throw, closes it out. Oh man, talk about gaming. Knew the down one of the tick was coming, immediately hailed North Big Shouts to K Mac and said, Get the fuck out of here, I'm gonna take this first game. Yo, Jackie, lunge into the screen. Look at it. And that's risky, man, because if you went down one into Cat instead, that's GG. Yeah, that was a. Or that's round three at least. Sorry, that's round three. That, that was a big read from Unjust on his side of things, and he it paid off. And that's the type of moments that's right there. Like making those big reads in that moment's really gonna take it. If Dash up, if, down one, tick throw, makes a read. Not if he just walked up and. Oh. Here we go, game two. Now Pop Tart did just make a worse three up. <laughs> it's happened. But we're gonna see if we can do it again if it, if it gets to that point. We might get tired of one when we don't know yet. We're not, we don't know. 
Game two. Fight. Going to the hive. Unjust gonna have to jump it back. Getting the jump back. One. <laughs> that range was kind of busted, too. But gets to throw a little bit of extra damage on top. An extra 1.82 damage. Not too bad. No one checks. No anti? I don't know. And he gets shimmed. <laughs> Bro, get the, the throw again. Yeah, throw just... out of the corner, though. Not, mind you, look at his health. <laughs> Where did his health bar go? It's gone. That's why well, I went. blinked. So I, I can't tell. I blinked once. I'm sorry. <laughs> I like that. Push himself out of the corner at least. The comeback, we don't know if it's going to happen, but we can at least say that he's going to get out there. Yeah, at least getting out of the corner. Jaguar touches the goop with his paw, and it's GG right there. Going oh into round my two. Oh, God. The command grab. Dude, wave dash on command grab. Ow. Them wave is looking kind of kind of smooth. The trade. Oh no, people's elbow on the other side. The low frames. The throw again. Into the throw wall standing on the goop. Again, a little extra damage. 20 on top. And damage over time. Not too no, bad. That's a, not a bad there setup. A time, there was a time when throws did 14%, by the way. You guys remember that? I miss those days. No, I don't. <laughs> AB used to do 310. Okay, how about when Scorpion's brutality wouldn't even let you tag? That that was actually Take it back the, to the old I'm, days. I'm, I'm not even gonna cap. That was the dumbest high mod I've ever seen in my goddamn life. <laughs> like, why did they allow that to happen? Both of these dudes duking it back and forth. Not at wanting to say in the corner. Forward three works. Yeah. Jump in. Pressure. Yeah. GG. Yeah. Dead. That's it. That's you got hit by a nine frame mid, and you die. Three seventy for getting hit by a nine frame mid. Good luck. You really Pop hate to reverse three zero. You really fucking hate to see it. Oh my god, Unjust is up 2-0. Remember guys, if you guys want Pop-Tart to win, you need to send him energy right now. He needs to win the entire event in order to make the finale. And he has to take it over 3-0 over Unjust first before he can even get to the Grand Finals. So if you guys room for Pop-Tart right now, put in your favorite Pop-Tart in the chat. Mine's is um, definitely S'mores, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. S'mores, is, S'mores, definitely, S'mores is, is definitely number one. If you guys room for Pop-Tart, put it in your favorite Pop-Tart in the chat. <laughs> That's good. I like, I like that one. I'm an animal. Unfrosted strawberry. I, I was hoping, I was hoping you wouldn't unmute your mic because I knew that answer. Strawberry. The first time I saw unfrosted strawberry, I threw it across the room because why the fuck? <laughs> Cause it was in the wrapper, you know, you know the little gray yeah, wrapper. You, you get the you get the gray wrapper, you don't know what's inside of it. Yeah, and I it's the inside. Wrapper, and I opened it, and I saw it wasn't no frosting in it. I threw it across the room. What the fuck? Matrix with the hot fudge Sunday pick, bro. Respect. That's all I'm gonna say. This guy's got some class. Forward two, oh, forward two. Man. On the breakaway, late break, still taking twenty three percent. Text the throw. Gets caught. Somebody say wild berry. Fuck a wild berry. <laughs> Drops the combo. You don't really see that. And flawless block does not hit on the up three, though. A little bit too much pushback on Kotal Khan's hit right there. You hate to see. You make the right read. You make the flawless block. You use the resource, and it doesn't even hit. But gets the cancel on the goop on the jump in. 21%. Not too bad. Setting up goop. Oh, breaks the nose instantly. But, yo. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't I don't think y'all said enough of Pop Tart flavors in the chat because this man needs more energy. I need y'all to <laughs> like I need y'all to actually bring it out. For, okay, like, he got the, he got the down one antis though. But again, I believe that's gonna end up being 15, 17 percent on a throw, man. As if she didn't call, have everything. Like you, you really need to call Kellogg's themselves to get this because this, this 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 not looking good. Bring out the Pop Tart cereal. If they got Pop Tart cereal, I, I need something for Pop Tart right now, guys. Like he he needs it. He he really needs it. He 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 needs it. Please, someone Bro. help him. Papa Khan's though. I don't think some more come back. Down ones. Does he take throw? No. One two two is gonna work. Jump in. Yes, that one, oh, that's it. That's it. Three zero. Unjust. Make it a statement. Making a statement. Pop tart. GGs, man. What a season. What a season. A season for Pop-Tart. Yo, big shout outs to Pop-Tart. Hey, big shout outs to everybody that put in their favorite Pop-Tart in the chat. But it's, Yeah, that was it's actually awesome. Not enough. It, it, it just sadly was not enough. It's going not to be just. unjust. 3-0, oh, man. Did he 3-0 oh his first game? Or was it 3-1? I forget. 3-1. 3-1. Dude, unjust. Make it a statement again. We've been saying it over and over again. Unjust literally needs a W tonight. 
Pop Tart needed a W tonight as well. Unjust ends up taking a 3 0. Unjust moving into the grand finals. He said, I got to win this week. Me being grand finals. I'll see you guys there. So far, playing Spawn and then Jackie in our top eight. We got one more semifinals match to secure that last grand finals spot. We'll see if Unjust makes it into our finale, which is going down next week, next Sunday, 6 p.m. Eastern, right here. Same channel. Just leave it open for a whole week. Just leave the tab open. We'll Good. be back. Open for the whole week. And we got two Kodos in top four, by the way. Two Kodos. Two Kodos. It's hey. going to be Herky on the other side. Tento, <laughs> I, uh, Tento, I'm not coming into downplay, but I'm going to come in and let you guys know that this day, this glorious, bright, beautiful day, started off with a timeline existing where half of the finale could have been Kodos. There was a timeline where half of the half of them could have been. It's and you planted and them all there. You literally Buff planted them. Buff code later. <laughs> I knew yeah, he was gonna, I, dude, Aquaman is on some shit tonight, bro. I'm sick of this. I'm sick this, of this, this, man. this. is you guys' host, by the way. The man that screams. Dude, green Tento, how did you put up with that for six weeks straight, bro? <laughs> Every Sunday. I Okay, I got... What's the answer? <laughs> what's the answer? Show it. <laughs> Not, There's not like the this. answer, bro. That's how you like, got it. Not like this. <laughs> I'm like, how do you put it up? There we go. Dude, get this man an 1800 sponsorship, please. That's so oh, you're giving me 1800 sponsorship. We're going to be set for him because the man, the right room, no cap. Like, man, room, man no cap. good luck. The most I've gotten from Kraken is a like and a good job, buddy. Thanks for selling. You never out, even probably. got the retweet? Not even a retweet. I got the like. I need life. everybody to go tweet at Kraken right now and be like, the only reason I know about you guys is because of Mr. Aquaman. And if they get enough tweets, no, maybe, no, maybe. No, 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 for real, like, Kraken, y'all tweaking, y'all need to sponsor Aquaman because I did not know about the I drink didn't know about it. until Aquaman was drinking it. He's not over here, by the way. He's in the background. So let me point he's to in this. the background. <laughs> like, a man, he's above. I don't know. He's praising the sun. He's somewhere. But the bottom line, I didn't know about Kraken until Aquaman. So... Y'all really tweaking by not giving him the goddamn sponsor, bro. Like, I don't know what the hell wrong with y'all. But Turkey in the lobby, um, is he playing next? If not, son. Wait, is he he playing next, right? He I, is. Yeah. <laughs> you're about to you're about to say some foul stuff. <laughs> He's playing next. The, 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 hey, yeah, this, this, this look like CJ from San Andreas. Yo, relax. I'm gonna be in for Halloween though. Like, <laughs> that's a good dude. That's good. That's mad good. <laughs> That's mad good, actually. No, Aquaman. <laughs> Aquaman's crying to that. that. That one got Aquaman, dude. That one got him, bro. Hey, man, I'm glad I'm not the one being called shit on commentary. That's all I'm saying. God damn it. There was one week where it was literally like an hour straight of just people roasting Aquaman all the way down in the chat. Oh God, dude, that was that. that was <laughs> glorious, one of those, like, Aquaman the type of person to um to yell out like yeah oh uh, you forgot to collect the homework in class. <laughs> That's just like that. He does. He does. Oh, there was a lot of man. '70s porn star in there <laughs> yeah, as well. There a was lot a lot of '70s porn star. There's a lot of '70s porn oh, star out God. there in the world. Hey, still to this day, I mostly get hit on by older women. Let's get in the next match, ladies and gentlemen. Turkey versus Hayate. I am definitely away, at that gentlemen. point where I'm at the point where I'm saying y'all not hot because boy. Turkey, Hayate, we got another Kodal here. We got Hayate, who has gone through the Kodal gauntlet. That's what we'll call it to say at least. This man had to play against five Kodals in a row, I believe like two or three weeks ago, which is absolutely ridiculous. So safe to say he probably is not happy to see this character here in semifinals. But Hayate has secured his spot in the finale next week. So just playing for seeding points and potentially getting to see one of his Ooh. opponents in Mighty Unjust who's waiting for him in grand finals. Down one into tick immediately. Yeah, that week, I think that was week three. It was cursed. Hayate got five Kodals in a row, no cap. And I felt bad for the man legitimately. Like, I was like, bro, he is going through hell because of matchmaking. And that was all random, too. And that's, that's what sucked the dark the most. <laughs> yeah. Talk about luck of the draw on that one. Pulls him right out of the sun. He's like, there'd be no praising going on here. Taking a little bit of a nerf to the damage. Total did stay Ooh. in that sun for a second. Sky yeah, walks out. He is out here to see. Oh, he's going to get Finishes the string. Here. Is that punish? <laughs> Command grab? One. No, he waited. He knew he was going to hold north. He's going to retreat backwards. No 4-2. I love that about the tornado as well from Fujin. He can just step back and give himself a little bit more safe, give himself some breathing room. If you recognize the time, yes, you can. That is really good. You can de-hit, you can lose the key. Oh my goodness. He's still alive with the 50 health. One health and a dream. Back one's going to close it out with his back to the corner. Hayate 
convincing game one after 80 seconds. 80 goddamn seconds. And again, these two characters nuke health bars, so I'm surprised that went 80 seconds. That just goes to show the chess match that these two are playing right now. Absolutely ridiculous. Oh, oh my oh, god. Gets caught in the foot, but somehow hits him in the gut. That's 25%. Papa Khan's piece are coming at you for 250 or more every single time. If it's less than 250, you get it for free. Oh, that was a big counter hit. Thought the pair was coming? No. Is it hit? Yo, catching him with the 4-3. No way. Jumps back. Turkey, playing it safe. Punish? There it is. No defensive meter as well. This is probably death. This is a lot of damage. No defensive meter. Good flow. Was that a... Okay, yeah. Took 7.5 damage. That's literally chip on wind push in damage right there. Absolutely. And he took a stand four on block. So that's pretty much it. Dude, these guys are going back and forth. Again, complete chess match here. I love seeing all the wind god in the chat, though. Chess got match. Chess oh, it's been broken just like that. Yo, Fujin right now with the wind pushes. I know we ESC, but we got more air to go around. Oh, my God. He's going to get out of there. He's praises the sun. I like that. I like one. how the wind push pulls Kotal out of it, too. It's actually kind of sick. Kind of stupid, in my opinion, actually. It makes me sick. It does make nice. me sick. It, would, it definitely does. Look oh. at the movement, dude. Oh, the man that's out here is like moonwalking on the boat. That was a beautiful goddamn whip punish. He's going to go for the parry. Command grab? No, he does not. And the oh, one catches the KB on the 1-1-4. One, one, beautiful. And instead oh. of opting for pressure, just backdashes. Wants that space. Bro, wave that instantly. No, we do early on that. He's going to get some life back. But he's going to lose Fatal Blow. Ah. Oh, wait, no, not quite. Oh, Ooh. catches him just at the end of that forward three. The last active frame of forward three catches him. Oh, yeah, he's supposed to. He said, no, you're not going to get into that sun. Hold the fuck up. This man's going to come back season. Blow. This is going to be 46%. And come back season. Yes. My God, it hurts. Are we breaking 50? Nope. 45, 45 though. Not too bad. Not too bad. Wind push. Looking for an opportunity to set up sun, potentially. 15 seconds left on the clock. Oh my god. No Jump in. Out of there. That walks out. Patience. Nine. Patience. Ayate with the health lead. kotal has got to no. move forward. Good. <gasps> oh, rolls out. Down three. Oh, it's going to work. And that's going to close out. One second left on the clock between two behemoth characters that can literally destroy your health bar one second left on the clock to close out game one hayate taking the early lead here in the semifinal set first to three jesus christ it's too much it's too much that was one know. game that was one game <laughs> i did like six things in the background holy crap down to the last second he's got your like, game in. jumps to airport Right here, he was fishing for the 4 2, but he couldn't get it. The dash up mm. with a command grab would have put him in a better position because I know Hayate would have been blocking right there, but I understand Turkey's saying, you know what, fucking let me go for the win. Tento? Tento, you were talking about it. This man got like 17 and a half Kotal Cons in a row one week. That shit was terrible. If, if anyone's ready for the matchup at this point, it's Hayate. It's, it's definitely him. No cap, but like, man, who the fuck wants to go through seven Kotals in one week? I, I'm not going to lie. Buff Kotal, but I, no way. I don't even want to fight that's, that. That's a lot of big body. <laughs> Absolutely through. not. A lot of big right, body. Game two. That's 1,700 pounds of raw beefcake right there. That's just solid, yeah. solid, <laughs> solid. Big great. That's, pound that's, cat that's, that's, you know, when you're at the store and it's like, this is some USDA grade A beef. Nah, Kotal Khan's that grade S beef. The grade S beef. So you're saying he's S tier. Nerf Kotal, thank you. Back one hits. Yeah. Goes in the Skywalker, pushes him to the corner, break away after 20%. Not too bad, not too bad. But again, it's really interesting to see Hayate always backing up when he's got the pressure on. Just wants that space, or prefers to control the space as opposed to getting the pressure on. But I guess the wind push pressure is equal. Jumps out, still gets caught by the down one after the whiff grab. Back one's gonna work, wind push, keeps him safe. A little bit of chip on the board after the meter burn. Oh, and again, these guys are playing chess. The walk down, the menacing walk down. There's the anti air. Goes for the stand one. Break away. The down three instantly. He's patient. He's patient. Walk back. The, the, you, you, somebody made a good point. If if uh, Fusion Wind Push actually did damage, it would be the mm -hmm. most. I was just thinking about that. Actually, has to me to burn it. Imagine, imagine the raw push did two percent, and then the regular push did six. Oh my god. 
trying to praise the sun, but cannot find an opportunity with that full screen wind push. This is not going to matter of it. Push not doing any damage, but annoying. got some good utility there. That's for sure. It's, it's literally meant to annoy you. And I really, and he's about to time him out. I feel like I, I didn't, didn't even, know. there's only five seconds on the clock. What no, is happening this, this, this in is, this set? Does, I wonder if, does Cat negate push? Because I really feel like Turkey should have won Cat in this matchup. Hayate, after playing 17 and a half Fujins, like Aquaman said, he's like, you know what? The best way to play him is by just staying way over here. I'm just going to stay over here, and I'm just going to get the early health lead, and now I'm just going to back it up. Oh, tried to get the whiff punish back one right there. We're going to get hit by the string forward two. Dude, these dashes. These dashes into... By the time I, I, like, react to his back dash, he's already in the air doing a jump in one. What is his movement from Hayate? Gets the full combo, though, from Turkey. Uh, double dips. He wants to take all the damage he can get. 33% just like that. Down one. Let me get back one. Push him away. Guess what? I am the wind guy. I am moving back and forth. You cannot catch me. I am too fast. Guess what? I duck. I... Oh, what? yeah. Punish. He literally went so fast. He punished that shit. Is there a run button in this game? Are we playing MKX? Oh, no. Is this no, MK11? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. This is just going to be a cheap Oh, we got kicks though to the corner. He's been in all of our two meters. Bro, I would have oh, got. Oh my goodness, dash up back ones. I would four one immediately. No, he didn't. He tried to. Guess what? Hate. I don't know how to come in. You had to come to me. You got a chase. Hayate is perfectly fine sitting here for the next 25 seconds. Slowly oh, his way God. forward, doing a little bit of chip to negate that praise the sun. Over. Jump over. No, he he might over end. He traded. Dude, don't yeah. tell me we're gonna see two timeouts. Oh, in one baby, game. We didn't have more. He missed it. Yo, another timeout? Are you serious? No way, no way, no way, no. <gasps> oh it. my goodness, dude, he really did that. He doesn't have any meter anyway. <laughs> another timeout. Oh he just won God. by 180 seconds. Three minutes of timeouts. Three minutes of Kotal trying to get through win. Three minutes. There's no fucking way. Oh no, sorry. Yeah, no, no, three minutes, dude. Oh my gosh, two rounds you, is three you, minutes. You did, yeah. you did that math correctly. No, you, 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 you got a king. You did your math. You know your math right. <laughs> I was second. I was like, wait, did I just do math really well. No, I had to second guess myself. Math. You got a king. You did your math correctly. That was three minutes three of me minutes watching. Of trying to go through the wind, bro. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that man got it. Nah, he was trying to wave that through. He said, no, I got the right wave. He's over here. You getting pushed away? Get back up. No, put it down. Put no. Sh 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 step back. None of that, all right? But he switched to Cat because he needs it. He needs fucking, he needs something, goddammit. He needs Aquaman to bless him something. I don't know what. He needs Hayate to get his route. He needs, some, he needs some fucking milk. He can't even praise the sun. It's just not working. He's just getting pulled out or pushed out of the sun by wind. So wait, does Cat, does Cat actually, Aquaman, can you confirm it? Are you guys, hey, hey, oh, are you guys, are you guys saying buff call? No, no. Does cat does cat get negated by push? I need to know that for real. Um, if it gets hit in the startup of it, yes. Oh but... damn! And it's pretty fast too. So, so that's, yeah. yeah, exactly. It's pretty goddamn fast too. Cat is not gonna be too much. Today. All right, he's gonna get the punish. He gets the life lead. He has a chance. We've just been seeing how to get that early life lead and then just piecing out. You, did you? No, no. This man. Uh, okay. Uh, you know what? Hayate looks like he wants to take this week. The ability to recognize that this was coming and he does tornado just to dodge it is just too fucking ridiculous. This man's on another fucking level. I don't know what he's just drunk. I don't know what GQ sponsor he got, but he needs to feel the fuck out. Wind push. I mean, being in the corner though, not the worst thing. Cause oh, never mind. Oh, oh get out of the corner, please. I am wind god. I got tornadoes. Oh. Oh, it hit. You know what? That's it. I'm sorry. I'm gonna call it. What's the time of death? 7:50 for Turkey? I'm I'm sorry. I gotta call it. I'm not even gonna lie to you, man. I'm not gonna lie. What are you gonna do? You can praise oh, the sun all you want. So Turtle up. And then find his way out of this. Gets to stand through to work. Looks for forward two. Amplified disc will work. Oh no! Gets caught. Breakaway though. Man, that's it. Caught on the back one yet again on the down one. That's me full punish. Yeah, he's gonna back up. Oh, those combos. And there's really nothing you can do. No offensive, now offensive meter. Didn't have any defensive meter. Five seconds left. Can you find oh, yeah. a button into Fatal? There's no shot. Yeah, he's just going to block. There's, no there's, no, there's three no, there's no. timeouts in a row. Let me do the math. What is that? 270 seconds? Too far for me. That's too far for me. But geez, man. Three timeouts in a row. Are you kidding me, dude? Forward two. 
Gets a jump in. All blocks. A lot of blocks in this game. Tries to jump. Not finding anything. He doesn't care. Wind push. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? And you never know if it's going to be wind push or you accidentally blink and next thing you know he's in your face doing back ones. With that crazy wave dashing. Forward two, no amplified disc. Jumps Ooh, back, finally gets right. the punish. Here we go, full combo, no defensive meter. Now we can oh, get some pressure on the board. Up. We have Ogi. We have another command grab? No, we have Whiffin. Back two into wind push. Ooh, gets caught, but oh. finally catches him forward dashing. Uses the interactable. Oh, I like the use of interactable oh, tonight. God, 37. That's gets it. Gets down one anti no. I like this. The drop kick. Oh, short up, first short up of the night. There we go. That's what we like to see. Oh, Gets down one hand tire to confirm into full combo for we jumping. You take 26. Out here doing short hop. The short hop king. The stand four instantly. Get that push back. Minus one on that. Max range. That's it. What are you going to do? Oh, I respect the decision from Hayate. Tries to get back to into fatal blow, but no. It's not going to connect. Yo, Turkey puts himself on the board. Hold on. The reverse 3 0. This is how it starts. It's round some by break. round. We got wind pushes though. Stay back there. No, I don't want you anywhere near me. Stay back. No, yeah, you can praise the sun all you fucking want, but guess what? <laughs> Easy back to punish from anywhere on the screen because guess what? I have full screen normals for some fucking reason. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You gonna jump at me? Nope. Patience. Bro, stay back. I am the wind god. What are you gonna do? You're gonna get pushed. Oh my god. Wait, hold on. Turkey's in there. All right, corner pressure starts god. here. I mean, let me teach you about the sun guy. You talk about the you, you, you talk about the wind god. No, let me teach you about the sun guy real quick. Get double dip to the corner. Let me drink that blood real quick. I'm blood god and sun god at the same time. Give me another tick. Guess what? More blood. I'm getting powerful. Back to the corner. Give me another command grab. Give me another one. Oh, oh and he finally it. jumps out of it. No, we. we, we how we, did we, you we, know he was gonna do that? Another, how are you supposed blood. to know he's gonna try right. to kick throw off back, back one? In the corner. Dash up with the command grab, please. No, check. Or it's, it's over. Deserved. Deserved. Oh, Reverse 3 0 incoming. Download initiated. Bro, how did he know he was going to tick throw back one on the interactable? What even? I didn't even know the interactable was there. You right? You right? No cap. That no, was actually the biggest of brains of reads right there. That's crazy. That was actually knowing that he was going to back one tick throw into that is just too. Can that we get was the replay, Rick. Please tell me you got that replay. I need to see that one more time, real quick, before Rick they go into the game. No, over. Rick already got the replay because that's why. Because he's Rick had the replay crazy. before it happened, bro. That's how good he is. No, Rick knew saw it into the future. That man had that's a Raven vision. That man got Wanda vision. Dude, <laughs> how are you? <laughs> how are you supposed to know? No, nah, replay that. Run it back. 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 There is no way he knew back what. It's not even back one one tick. He knew back one tick was coming. I didn't even know no, back one kicks. I didn't even know there was an interactable there. Like, I got to see this back again. No, there's no way. He knew right back one tick. Oh, my. Good Not night, dude. One Good one night. Tick. Into the one two command grab. That's what made it OD. The fact that you knew back one tick was coming, that's too fucking crazy. Ladies and gentlemen, that is your Coliseum layers right there. That's the type of matches you got to be going up against here in the Coliseum. Like layers, and you know, they're like onions, and they got to get peeled. Let me stop. We're going Man, back I'm to the so, so Coliseum. Fucking, I'm so blown away by the That's So Raven vision. What the fuck? <laughs> that was good. That was quick. <laughs> Did you have superpowers that, that I'm unaware of? <laughs> Guys, take it away. Wait, look, get the fuck off me. No, but he said, give me tech tech. Oh, no, we got a skate fail right back at you. Hot breath fast to the corner. <laughs> Raising the sun in the corner. It's not going to be too bad. Not the worst situation being getting comboed while you're in your sun. It's too much. Turkey. He gets a throw. No, get off nice me. Throw. Beautiful yeah. throw attacks coming out of Turkey today. Oh, we praise the sun. What are you going to do? That doesn't do any damage to me. Just holding that block button down, man. Not just refusing to budge. No, the, the, reason, the fact that Hayate has a run button in this game is actually kind of unfair. <laughs> Yeah, bro. I thought I was like, is it Friday? Are we watching MKX? Oh no, we're not. Oh okay. Bro, why do you got a whole run button out here? People out here trying to do wave dash, be fucking, be be all like you know, execution heavy, and all you out here is just running. Like that's not that's not cool, bro. That's the the sun yet again, but I like the kicks because he pushed him out the corner. And it... Oh, what a read! Change. Double Do down too. Dental insurance. We're not about to find out. We got X rays for it. He wants it. He wants his W here. He's like, get me into that grand finals. I want to see my potential opponent that will be in the finale with me if he wins. Hayate, looking for the W. 
Wind push, full screen, 20 seconds left on the clock. Wait, has the don't. health lead. Fatal. Nah, 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 he ain't gonna do that. He's gonna be patient. He's gonna be patient. It's 14 seconds left on the clock. He's gonna dash up. No, he did a random sword. What the fuck are you doing, Hayate? He's here. Can't be that though. The back one's gonna hit. He's gonna get a push. What's the point? Oh, no, oh, oh, wait, we got Khan's pizza. No, the 4 2's gonna come. He does not Catch One, not even a second left on the clock. Oh, my Wanta, dude. This might go down as the longest set in Coliseum history. We've had three yeah, timeouts. Yeah, that yeah. one should have been a timeout. Could have been. And we got back one pressure. That's going to hit. Goes for the win push. Only gets 6% on the combo there. Yo, high things are found. They're all different cylinders. Oh, dash up grab. Escape failed. Fujin does have KB on both forward and back throw. It which is a complete 50-50. Which way is he going to throw you? Which way are you taking the 30%? Goes back immediately. Te Turkey is really good at tech and throw, so we're gonna see what happens with that afterwards. But this is looking tough right now. He has to find his way in, and it's just so tough when you get the crouch, pop a cons pizza while wave dashing, and he did it again. Okay, dude, that's that's how we're playing. You're crouching in mid wave dash, bro. Put it down, put down pop a cons pizza. No, I don't want a delivery. It's oh, interrupts it. Gets the down two to get a little bit of extra damage on the breakaway. Fakes a short hop, reads the short hop grab. Gets the down two, already used down two KB. Here we go into the back one. Skywalker, I'm out of here. We got 20 seconds left. I got the health lead. KB, now I got even more of a health lead. What are you going to do in 20 seconds, Kotal Khan? No. Good luck. The man already got his head cut off and you just took his ribs too? That ain't fair. Stay back. 10 seconds left on the clock. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Just 10 seconds left. What are you going to do? Game. That's game. Another 80 plus second round. I don't even, I lost, I think that was four times we saw the clock hit zero and five or six times we saw the clock go under 10 seconds in a Fujin versus Kotal Khan matchup. I did not expect that going into the semifinals match. Hayate going up 3-1 over Turkey with a game plan that he must have formulated and mastered because that was just ridiculous. Turkey, GG's man, what a season, what a season. Regular season. I don't know what to say. Regular season, yeah. Turkey is also one of your finals. But um, this is definitely one of those matches where um, I see Turkey definitely looking back at the tapes and be like, yeah, I need to see what I can do right, what to do wrong. This that's just, you got to get the health lead there, man. But how do you get the health lead against someone like Hayate? That's that's yeah. step one. Once I found out, like, once the Aquaman just said, like, Cat doesn't work in that matchup, what the fuck do you do? I would, it would be interesting to see Air Jaguar. Potentially, you could Air Jaguar over the wind push and then maybe get some pressure in off forward too. But jump, like, bro, he, he tried to jump out a couple he times. He was trying to jump, yep. He was getting caught every time he jumped too. It's gonna beat the, like, that, that matchup just seems fucking frustrating, bro. Like, Hayate went against 17 and a half Kotals a few weeks ago and he's like, I got the answer. I'm not gonna rest until I find the answer, and this is my answer. It is wind push and to stay the hell away from me. But that is our semifinals. That is a wrap. We got Hayate. We got Mighty Unjust in our grand finals. Mighty Unjust needs to secure a W against a player of Hayate's caliber. That's gonna be no easy feat. He needs a W to get into that finale that's going down next Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern right here on the channel. Hayate, looking for some more points, looking for a little bit more experience in the Mighty Unjust matchup in case he does see him there. But we do have one break to go to. One more time before we go to break, though. Let's hit that Macharino button. We have been cruising. You guys have been absolutely crushing it. We started tonight at $660, and we broke quadruple digits. $1,000, 25 cents. Thank you so much, everybody, donated to the Macharino. While we're on our break, you're going to have a second. Be sure to follow the Coliseum on Twitter. Be sure to subscribe to the Coliseum YouTube channel. You can follow all of us on Twitter, the four of us that are running the show right now. We got Rick. We got Aquaman. We got myself. We got Tento. While you guys got five minutes for a break, get some snacks. Semi or grand finals is going to be absolutely ridiculous. Tento, I know I'm super pumped for it. Five minutes, and then we're going to have a disgusting grand finals. Hayate versus Mighty Unjust. Use the, the Coliseum is brought to you by PixelPro.io. Empower the creators. And... The Coliseum Studios. Check out events, merch, music, and more at coliseum.gg.
what's going on everyone first off i just want to say thank you guys so much the coliseum has been kicking ass we've had an amazing first year and that's thanks to you guys our foundation has always been you guys the community you know without it we wouldn't be possible without the views without the donations for the players for everyone thank you but we want to kick things up a notch we want to raise the bar even further and so in order to do this we had to pull the coliseum off of my twitch channel that some of you have noticed um, because we weren't able to stream to multiple platforms twitch doesn't allow this in their contract for partnered or affiliated channels hence why there's no sub button on the current coliseum channel but if you are looking for a similar option to support us we finally have something for you and it's youtube members and you can right now become a YouTube Coliseum member to gain access to emotes, badges, and members only content. So on behalf of everyone at the Coliseum, thank you guys so much. And we hope that you become a member and you'll be getting some access to some awesome exclusive content, live streams every single week. And just as a heads up, nearly seven and a half hours of bonus matches every week just for the upcoming season that I have planned. So thank you guys so much for all of your support. We hope you become a member today. Since the beginning, we have been taking online tournament presentations to new heights. The partnership we have with the Coliseum has been a rewarding one. Seeing how the fans have reacted to the hard work put in behind the productions has been incredible. Did we get the button? We are about to set this Coliseum ablaze. QR Gaming in chat says the button. QR Gaming did all the graphics for the Coliseum. At all? None at all. None at all. Here sure, we go. Wait. Here we go, everyone. Game number five. Let's set the scoreboard ablaze. The Coliseum ablaze. Yeah, baby, that felt good. Game number. I love that graphic. Together, the Coliseum Studios and Vertex Creative will continue to create the best viewing experience for the best fans online. Waiting on Sylvie to join us here, and do we have a bracket to take a look at by chance? Let's go and take a look at that bracket, Let me guys. See that. Let me see that. We keep talking about it. We keep talking about it. Let's actually show it off. Look at those graphics. Oh. That's how I like to wake up in the morning right there. Welcome, everyone, to the Coliseum Rewinding. Presented by Hitbox. This is a five-week series. Traveling through time. Traveling through space. Past, present, and future colliding every single week. What is going on, everyone? And welcome to the Coliseum season number two. I was going to say something incredibly epic right there, but it, it even blew my mind, ladies and gentlemen. This is the opening ceremonies of season two here. My name is Mr. Aquaman. This is the Coliseum. It's a 10-week series through three different games, Mortal Kombat X, Injustice 2, and Mortal Kombat 11 every single week, each getting their own series in a completely new format. We are back here at the Coliseum, baby. Very quick. Well, it can literally be one turn. <laughs> is it going to be a nine-hour show or a 30-minute show? Oh Vertex Creative and PixelPro.io are proud partners of the Coliseum Studios.
and we are here for week seven on a Sunday night for MK11 College Season Season 3. Bro, it's grand final. It's grand fucking finals. We raised a thousand dollars tonight. We yes, we did. Got to a thousand dollars, and now we're gonna hit the final two contestants here to see who's gonna take week seven before the finale. It's gonna be next week, Sunday, at 6 p.m. Eastern time. It's gonna be crazy. Yo, the bracket. It's gonna be mighty unjust versus. Lazarus Hayate. Yo, Mighty Unjust is unsponsored, by the way. So, sponsor that fellow dude. <laughs> Looking for a sponsor, you guys. $1,000.25. We cannot forget that $0.25 cents from you guys. Remember, you guys, the community makes this fucking happen. We love y'all. We can't do it without y'all. It's not just a player to conduct uh, the commentators and the um, production crew in the background. It's you guys as well. Thank you guys, YouTube. Thank you guys, Twitch. You guys have been doing amazing. But there can only be one flashy. Who you got, Flash? We, uh, let me just, I, I don't know, man. This has been a crazy night. This has been a crazy season. Let me just tell you what's on the line for this grand final. It's not just the grand finals. Mighty Unjust needs a W. If Mighty Unjust loses this first to five against Hayate's Fujin, Ludi is in. Unjust is out. Unjust needs to win in this first to five to find himself in that finale next Sunday. If he loses, he loses the tiebreaker to Luddy, Ludi. I think somebody says it different every single time. But regardless, Unjust needs the W, and he's going up against Hayate. Talk about pressure situation. Again, Unjust Ooh, known. Also, what do we got? F flashy on top of that, Hayate said in the Twitch chat, Mighty Unjust was like, I need this win, Hayate. I need this win. Hayate says, I need these points. Hayate currently is, is sitting at 150 points if he loses this. So he's sitting at 510 guaranteed. He's only 10 points behind Turkey. He's only 15 points behind Honeybee. If he wins this, he will jump up to the fourth seed in the finale. That's why he's gonna be gaming his ass off. Take it away, guys. He, he does not want to face full auto. <laughs> he doesn't want to fight full auto at all. He does not want to deal with that at the time being. He wants to solidify himself and get a little bit of money. So I understand completely why he wants to do that. We got the back door instantly taking that chain off the man's back. And guess what? You in the corner now. You next to that cacti. I mean, I'm sorry, there's a cactus, there's only one right there. You're gonna slam dunk his ass, though. I like the correction on the grammar there, but I'm curious as to... I should have checked what Mighty Unjust jumped in with what variation. Does he go... He is going Plasma Pool. I was actually thinking about this when I saw the spawn pick. Plasma Pool could work. It could work. He can get a lot of projectiles on the board. As long as he can get that Plasma Pool out, he can at least get one projectile as well. For those of you guys that don't know, if you weren't watching round one, game one, that plasma pool of spawn regenerates his offensive meter instantly, pretty much. I mean, it is ridiculous, and he just is able to get projectiles on projectiles. First one's a high, second one's a mid. Oh, but it's gonna be Hayate with 24 health and a dream. Taking round one. He walks up, could have potentially punished that. Gets the forward two though, into charging hell spawn, but break away from Hayate. Down one into projectile, that's the game. Oh, he went for it. He went for it. No breakaway either. Now has the breakaway, but also in the corner. No offensive meter. Oh, that was a good way. Just send a stand three out there just to remind him that it exists. Is Plasma Pool's input down back three? No, because he still has his down back three. Okay, I'm about to say. It's like he's not been using, but no, he gets the chest broken immediately. I think down back three switches to where he like pulls the chain out of the ground and you can meter burn it whenever you want. I believe. Back fours. One thing I like about spawns back fours, if you look closely, it's actually the character that you're playing against. Ooh. I always thought it was just a random demon from Nether Realm, but it's actually the character you're playing against. Final round. And we got a final round here in game one. First to five, grand finals, unjust. Needs a W to find himself in the finale next week. Hayate needs a W to get bumped up to the four seed for the finale next week as well. Those wave dashes, man. I'm never gonna get over that. It is, and yeah, no need to break. You gonna spend blue bars? Yes, sir. You gotta hold all this. 45. It hurts, Flash. It hurts. Wait, wait, hold on. We got short hops. Hey, Hate, all of a sudden that's... Don't tell me. He teched going into the corner against Spawn. Oh, that's death. Oh, no, goes into the Plasma Pool setup. Probably knew it wouldn't kill, but goes into the Plasma Pool setup. Dude, I'm sweating right now, man. <laughs> I am definitely sweating. Flawless block, taking no chip. Smart. That KB, that's dead. What? 230. What are you going to do? Flawless box it. Yo. Catches it. 
He flawless blocked the push to able to get the punish. Unjust, you are too fucking woke. We said it. We said it in round one. We said it in the semifinals. Unjust is like, I got to win. I'm bringing out all the sweat. All the sweat. Sweat band on, wristband on. This dude is perspiring tonight. <laughs> this spawn is looking ridiculous. And that stand 3 4 is getting some serious work done against that Fujin. Finding that perfect balance. I believe, I mean, I would assume stand 3 goes farther than back 1. So I think spawn has a little bit of a safe zone where he can just send that out there. That down 4 is going to be a bit of a problem, as we just saw. But again, win push, not going to be an answer. <laughs> Flawless blocking into stand 3. Are you kidding me, dude? <laughs> I was talking about layers in the last match in the semifinals. Yeah, this is some layers. Yeah, those layers is like the onions on Shrek, but man, this is crazy right now. You know, I'm trying to think about Flashy. Season two, Unjust uh, basically did the same thing he did for season three, where he um, got top eight, but he just took the nice week to collect the points. Mm -hmm. Now it's kind of bite him in the ass, but it's understandable because he has school stuff to take care of. Remember, school comes first, guys. Remember, get that education first. There we go. Get the real shit done first before you play the video games. And that's what Unjust <laughs> But. He's looking like he's trying to take out Hayate right now. Hayate, he doesn't want to play uh, full auto, but, uh, you know. Oh. oh, my goodness. He just went to forward four into hammer. That hammer, you got to watch out for that, man. You never see it coming, and that is an overhead 20%. This is the last week before our finale going down next Sunday. Right after this match, our top eight for the finale will be set, and the players will be battling for a $1,000 prize pool. It's great. And also, guys, just so you guys know that it is double elimination for the finale. It's not going to be single limb anymore. It's top mm -hmm. eight, double e limb. So these boys got now two chances and my controller is about to fucking die. So give me a second. Playing around those projectiles though. Out there for the mini burn. Not finding an opportunity to set up plasma pool, but definitely finding an opportunity for the stand three, four. That's for sure. Does the back four out of the KB of Fujin's forward three. Are you kidding me, man? That's the 12% great. plasma pool set up on the one, one, two. That'll work. Watch that offensive meter. Instant. Instantly comes back. Instant recharge. I actually oh, have no. never seen anybody utilizing that plasma pool and unjust finding the answer there. That is some gross spawn tech. A weapon. I love how this Kano is in the background watching the madness unfolding his uh, fucking his bar and he just doesn't care. He's doing Walkman zoom right now. Zooming with the cat. <laughs> sand, sand back and pouring drinks. <laughs> Precisely what Mr. Walkman's doing right now. Guy walks out of there, cancels, gets the pressure on the win push. And now, chess match. Both of these players respecting each other. Blocks. Buttons. Walking back. Gets the chip. Back four. That sweep is finding some serious utility. Yo, unjust. Nothing on the sand, too. We control right now. Holy shit. Fifteen seconds. Hayate is no stranger to these elongated rounds, that's for sure. At all. He's been doing it all night. The flaws block? He, tried to he doesn't have the health lead, though. And and that's going to be it. Unjust. Two. Oh. Yeah, well, it's special, just like you said, Flash. He's been doing yep. a lot with the spawn. That's it. that's it. The down one special. That's the answer. Down one special. And when he finds the opportunity to set up that plasma pool, and it looks like 1 1 2 has enough knockdown pressure for that free setup on plasma pool. So we'll see if we can keep finding that. I have seen Unjust going for that 1 1 2. Maybe he knows that that's what the setup is. And he can't find another answer because of that wind push. So watch out for that 1 1 2 from spawn. And these projectiles putting in work. The stand 3 4 putting in work. Plasma pool. And down 1 special. That's the game plan here of Unjust here in week 7. It's just honestly, I just see. It's, it's mainly Unjust is really out damaging um, Hayate in the damage department when it's coming down to it. Like, Hayate's playing the game playing pretty well, but like when. Unjust gets the hit, unfortunately, because he's canceling Skywalker. That means he's out of defensive meter. He can't break. And if you can't break against Spawn, you're holding 40. <laughs> minimum. <laughs> One bar minimum. That shit sucks. <laughs> Here we go, game what? three. Oh, he went Oh, he just game. went for it. He believed. So Got a little bit of a cushion here with a 2-0 lead, though, so I kind of respect going for the pressure. Cross bolts. We're finally starting to see the cross bolts a little bit more here in this matchup. Harpoons, though. Mighty is Justin. Speaking of harpoon, shout out Black Manta and Injustice 2. Sick oh, DLC man. character. <laughs> Fuck that character. Oh, bro, you was sick, though. <laughs> Back to putting in work. Again, the cross bolts, they're working. I don't think we saw a lot of the cross bolts in game one or two, so I like the adjustment here from Ayate. Going for the forward two, looking for a whiff punish of some sort. Air to air catches. 
So he's That's in front. That's a three-point pressure. I guess what? Back back. You gotta come to me. Somebody said that backwards wave dashes don't exist. You see this man swimming backwards? He's doing a beautiful backstroke. <laughs> beautiful backstroke. And there we go. I, I spoke about the adjustment, and that's exactly what Hayate is doing here. I have a feeling this one's going to go the distance, Sento. Round two. Round two. Unjust. Looking for the 3-0 lead. Gets the KB Ooh. on the absorb of the projectile. Just gets it down two because of the breaker. Still 25% for shooting a projectile. GG. And you lose your defensive meter just because you shot a cross bolt. All right. Good luck. Back to in the drill. Oh, he almost got the semi right there. I think we need to pull the version. He did yeah, not break that. He at all. Don't take it to the corner. Jump in one. That's going to work. Back ones. Pressure. Skywalker gets out of there. Has to use a bar meter, though. Give himself that extra space. One, one. Down ones. We try to go for flaws block. We hide to do with it into jump. Go for the low. I like the delay. Or he goes for the kicks. 11% just like that. That's almost taking the throw. And Hayate's got the life lead. Barely. Whipping. Has a 40 life lead here. 40 damage. Oh, nope. Man. Gets caught. If you believe. There goes the life lead. And it's back. 33 seconds left on the clock. Hayate, one more round. Taking this to a 2 1. Unjust looking to make this a 3 0. Again, we are going first to 5. So if Unjust wins this, we are not done just yet. 1 1 2 sets up the plasma pool. Yep. That 1 1 2 knockdown pressure, man. That's what he gets to set it up. He can zone. Oh, that's it. <gasps> he didn't break. Oh no, don't. No, no. You cannot give Unjust a chance. Round three. Round three, Tento. Here we go. Final round. Oh, what's going to happen to us? Oh, gets to stand three, four. No breakaway just yet. Okay, breaks away at the end. Still takes 30%. Gets the 1 1 2. Plasma pool. Set up. Yep. Knockdown pressure is going to work. Town one special, man. Packs up. He's like, where's my plasma pool? Where is it? I need it. Oh, now you're out of it. And now you get to corner. Out of there. That one's no. I thought the down two was coming. Delay that dude. The delay on spawns projectile catches everybody, man. You cannot sleep on oh. that delay. I like it. Three. This guy walks out of there, cancels. Just getting out of the corner. Doesn't want to be there. Hayate doesn't have the health lead. Down three ward. Catches him with the projectile. One more plasma pool. That's it. What are you gonna do? He can just sit there and zone for the rest of the time. And it's gonna be his. Down one. 3 0. Oh, unjust. Making a statement. 3 0. But again, guys, this is Grand Finals. And in Season 3 Coliseum, Grand Finals is a first to five. See how high I take just? Uh, I already see GG's in the chat. No, there's no GG's yet. It's first to five. There's no GG's. It's not no GG's. It's still time to adjust. And I do not think Hayate will go down 3 0. I mean, 5 0 to unjust. He's definitely. One of those players is going to make those adjustments. We're going to look at this replay real quick. Look at it. Wind push. And guess what? I like yeah. the Skywalk, man. I like the Skywalk tech to cancel, to use the kick to get out of there. Always getting out of the corner. Hayate just chooses where he wants to be on the map. Whether it's through the wave dashing or the Skywalk, it cancels. He literally finds a spot on the map. He's like, okay, I choose to be here. But the down one is going to work. Unfortunately, 30 seconds left on the clock. You're going up against Spawn with Plasma Pool. Not much you can do there. He's gonna, is this switching variations? Because he was using Drove, correct? Yeah, he I think wasn't. he just switched variations to the uh, to the Mario Scream variation name. Uh, what? <laughs> there you go. I was going to try it, but I'm like, I'm going to butcher it for my boy Mario. <laughs> he's still got the wind push. He's got the Skywalker. And he's got Arsenal. So we'll see. It hurts to make my voice that high. So that shit just... <laughs> Sorry, guys. You're going to have to pay me for that one. You're definitely going to have to donate a little bit more into the pool so you can uh, get that Mario thing. Man, I end up sounding like Mickey. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, Algrid loves that one. Again, $1,000 raised. <laughs> These dudes blocking. are going to be juking it out for finale next week. But here we go. We'll see if Unjust is going to be there next week. That's what we're finding out here tonight. Oh, no defensive meter on both sides. So guys, remember, Hayate is already qualified. Unjust is not. He needs a top eight win in order to get into it. Hayate simply does not want to face full auto. He said in the chat, I do not want to fight that scream queen. So guess what? You're going to have to lose Unjust. But right now, Unjust making that statement up 3-0 currently. Yo, Hayate is swimming. Knee. Hot breath ass. Spawn. I know your breath hot. You did. Get the win push. That'll work. Spawn with his back to the corner is deadly in a certain situation. It worked once. We'll see if it works again. Oh my oh. god. Go no right with there. punish on the throw. Is he looking for it? Oh, he got it. He got it. He ducks the down two 
finds the forward throw KB and just opts to use the interactable, keeping it completely unbreakable. You just lost 42%. There's nothing you could do about it because you whiffed it down to and got thrown. Oh, like, like, what do you do? What do you do to that? I'm just, you I guess you do a forward three. Paper. It's a fatal. He died. He Don't died. Tell me. That was unfortunate. No, he's dead from this. He waited a little bit too much patience right there because he was thought. Oh, he thought high was going to overextend, but he did not. Oh, the four three is going to die why? for it because he did not want to throw a fireball. That was unfortunate. And just in that was your time to either go for a sweep or a fireball, but you just chose not to. And high is going to make you pay for it, taking that first round. That is unfortunate. No longer having that throw KB as well. That is detrimental to Spawn's game plan. Took 40% unbreakable and responded with 40% of his own. Gonna break away now though. Ooh, and that, might one. Up. that stand one from Spawn being so, it's seven frames, but it's so stubby and he's able to duck under it. Back one pressure continuing, wind push. A little bit of chip on the board. Back dash, forward dash. Ooh, ooh, they both simultaneously back dash and forward dash into each other. That's gross. I like the respect. Wind pushes. Got the flaws block, misses it. Almost got a conversion. I think it's moving. Did he stand one of the goddamn wind gigs? What the fuck? Down three. These are Out layers that we got. That kiss was so fucking. Oh. His lungs, they're gone. Shinnok, you can't ask Shinnok for help at this point. You just gotta sit there, bro. Shinnok ain't gonna do shit for you. Life lead, 30 seconds left on the clock. We know how to likes to be there. Forward three works and a wind kick. Down ones, down ones. This is just pressure. Doesn't have a drill though for the chip out. On just no, moving bro. forward. Bro, hold on. Any confirmation to kill Don't now. Don't tell me. On just has done the, the honestly impossible before and he can do it again, possibly right here. If he just- 10 seconds move. on the clock. Read. And he down oh. three. Down three is under the first projectile, which is a high, closes it out. Ayate, we talked about the download. It's starting. Three, two, one. If this is the first three, would have been GG's. We got first to five here. Ayate looking to make the run. Unjust looking to secure himself a spot in the finale next week. It just doesn't get better than that in grand finals, man. When someone's playing for their tournament life, they got to break out everything they got. Yeah, Flash, you see the desperation. You see the light. You literally see them breathing into their mic hard as fuck. The mic is down their throat. Like... <laughs> They okay. are centimeters away from their monitor, Tento. Let me tell you that right now. Motherfucker, stand at the screen looking at every goddamn pixel see if they can whiff punish <laughs> goddamn air. This is ridiculous. Almost literally trying to whiff punish air. <laughs> That's what's going on here against Fuji. But we got 3-1 going into game number five. Let's see what we got here. What map are we going to? Are we going to Kano's bar one more time? No, oh, Lord, we're in Kano's fucking dojo once again. Just that plasm pool. Wait, it's called plasm pool? I thought it was plasma pool. All right. Well, you know what? It's a plasma back there because you said it. We call it a plasma pool. No yeah, one's plasma. God damn it. Buff plasma pool. There we go. All right. <laughs> well, okay. So Fujin started with the back dash spawn, started with the forward dash. Looks like Unjust wants to get a little more aggressive. While well, Hayate opted to take the Kodal game plan where he's just like, I am out of here and I'm just going to keep pushing you. Yeah, Hayate does not mind playing a lane game. And I, and I agree with this because. He knows that he could possibly frustrate Unjust. And Unjust, little known fact about him, he's one of those emotional players. He's been, he's been working on it, but he still can't let it get the best of him. So we're going to see. Can he stay composed if Ahayate goes choose to go to the zoning mindset? I wonder if he wins this. This might be our first spawn weekly win. Aquaman can correct me on that. But if Unjust wins, we might have a spawn champion while also securing his spot in the finale next week. So I that would actually be... Gross. I do believe that would be a first. I'm also going to be working up um, some of the top eights right now or the finales to see if Mighty Unjust gets to win, how the top eight or how the finale is going to look, and if he loses, how it's going to look. Beautiful. So be sure to stick around after the set is done, guys, and we can get a little sneak preview of what our finale is going to look like next week. Yeah, 6 p.m. Eastern, right here on the Coliseum YouTube and Twitch channel. Don't go anywhere. Just keep the tab open for the whole week, like we said. But we go 20 seconds left on the clock. Dude, how many times have we set that Tento where there's something less than 25 seconds left on the clock? Yeah. Now we're down to 10. If you guys, YouTube, I'm sorry, but if you see Hayato on the screen, just know you're in for a long run because God damn, <laughs> that's death. No, you could have confirmed it to Fatal. Why did you die for it? No, that's all of Justice's fault. You could have confirmed it to Fatal right there. You went into attack once there. You got greedy. And the wise words of the Splash Man of New York spend the goddamn sack. But he hits the 3 4 on block. <laughs> oh, dude. 842. 42. When Sam 3 4 was blocked, he still took. Okay, set up plasma pool. No, he's like, I'm going for pressure now. Cancel into the back four, sweep into the jump in 1 1 1 2. Is he going to set up plasma pool? No. 
still going forward. Gets hit by the back two into Skywalker. Just takes it down two, even though Breakaway was not available. Ooh, it's a three block. flawless block. Meaningless conversion battle by 25% back dashes goes right back in the throw. <gasps> Gonna take spawns, breath, and throw it right back at his chest for some odd reason. Patience. Whoa, what you gonna whoa, do? Whoa. What you gonna do? High that was... is kinda, no, Spot High Tech kind of did hit the thing. He, he kind of got it with the thing. He's like, what are you gonna do? And he's just here saying 3 4. I don't know what the hell Unjust is like. No, I, I ain't that type of player, bro. Alright, doesn't All go right. for the charging hell spawn. Maybe assuming breakaway just wants to take the guaranteed on the projectile. Oh, burn. Oh, there's Splash in the chat. Always oh, spin the set. Yo, big shout out to Splash in the chat, bro. Miss you, man. Oh, I'm gonna get and 3 4 oh, hits from Max Range. KB. One more two counter KB. Oh, Is he gonna dash forward instead of pull? Neither. Just blocks. I think he learned from Splash. He's spinning the sack. Look at his health he lead, did. man. This oh, is looking like off. a 4 1 for Unjust. We'll see. Cancel. He that cancel in the back four might low key have 100% hit rate. I think he might have got chipped out because he didn't have last breath, but regardless. Stand 3 4, cancels the back forward 2, goes into the back 4. That sweep is working. Fujin from the Nether Realm tripping his own self up. And Unjust going up 4 to 1. Set point. Tournament point for week 7 for Unjust. Yes, you, as you said, the sweep actually low key, I think, is actually a legit shimmy for um a lot of people, actually. Because it's it's a double hitting safe um, low. Catches you. It's, it's going to catch you. It's actually really kind of OD because he does a swipe with his hand that looks exactly like stand one and the throw. Like legit, it can, it can act as a swim. It, uh, yeah, I didn't even think about that. It does look like the stand one and the no, throw. It, 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 it's it, broken. It, it, it really is a shimmy, like for real. Like you can definitely get shimmy by his uh, back two, um, back four because it's a double hit. So um, it's definitely been catching high out there. But right now, 4-1 for unjust guys. If you want Ty Chimp to win, I need to see Ty Chimps and win gods in the motherfucking chat. If not, remember, if Unjust takes this, he is going to be in the finale. But Hayate, could he possibly go back and run it back four games straight? We're going to see. We have the Wushi Dragon Grotto with it, though. Easily the best looking map in the game. I'm going to say it just like that. This stage is absolutely good. beautiful, man. Oh, my goodness. All right, see the wind guys. God damn, look at the wind yeah. guys. <laughs> that one anti-air. Four three works. Immediately cancels into the arsenal. Wind kicks, 27% Ooh. into the corner, into the throw. 26 into throw is not too bad. With spawn in the corner and no defensive meter. Pressure's on. Wind push. Forward three, cancel, down one. Oh, how do you cancel to down one that fast, man? That is just ridiculous. Back one's work, wind kicks. Ridiculous, I feel bad for his controls. The controls are probably going through hell. Gonna get it by a second. I gotta ask, I gotta ask Hayate how many controllers this man has gone through since he picked up Fujin. Hey, them PS4 <laughs> controllers are pretty three. goddamn easy. He probably hit, the moment he does like freaking up, I think his controller probably breaks after 500 wave dashes, which is probably like three <laughs> which matches. Which is one probably round. Like three matches. Yes, yeah, around. It's just kind of crazy. Hey guys, the fucking prices of the DualShocks keep going up too. It's insane. They are going up. Bro, why the fuck does a DualShock controller cost $70? What do you want me to do? Open the OnlyFans for real? Oh my for god. Real? I don't want to bro. Whose mustache am I tickling? Wait. Ooh. <laughs> Catches the back one. Drops it though after the 2 4. Doesn't have to finish the string. Water there. Tribute, finish, we'll finish on that breakaway immediately. Yo, the throw? Wave Finna dash up real. back throw. Harpoon to the face. Not an arrow to the knee. Oh, the stamp Oh, one that was and gross. Throw. A throw? No, I would have got Jimmy right there. I ain't gonna lie to you. But no, we gotta throw our own. Throwing it right back at you. And it's it failed. Big. That's huge. Guess what? What are you gonna do? Dash up. Check the kneecaps. And took. Found one special all day. Yo, all day. It's been doing him well. And guess what? He is now on tournament point four one over Hayate. Finale spot right there. In 90 seconds, Unjust could qualify for the finale going down next week. And it might actually go all 90 seconds with how Hayate's been playing this one with his game plan. Oh, he gets in. Gonna get kicked to the other side, though. We still miss green. Oh, that space on the back one? He knew? How did that just pick up the stand for? Into the down three oh. to wind push. How do you even discover these combos, Hayate? Jeez, man. I think, been, I think he might have been trying to go for the KB right there, but he's been there already? I don't know. Oh, no. The back one's going to be hidden, though. I mean, Lies back two is not hidden. Throw? Is that KB? Dash up oh, KB back throw. Chip is an issue. looking to make this 5 2. 1 1. This is Just down three. He does not want to oh, not like this. Not, do not let spawn do it. Please. Do not let spawn hit you one time. Unjust with 59 Ooh, health on the line. No, that was it. Recognize. Bro, 
Scary. And it hits! That's game! No, 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 That's game! He just did it. He did it. You're ridiculous. He did to it. To do Ross charge right there, you are. That was full goddamn sin. That is fucking ridiculous. Why did he Bro, go he did for it. Ross Holder? How the fuck did he know that was going to hit Flash? Bro, he did it. Did he read a wave dash? Did he read a, read a dash? Did he read a potential to try to skywalk? That was, a, that was in his gut, he said. Dude, the hell spawn. Unjust is your week seven champion. And with that 5-1 victory over Hayate, Unjust will find himself in that top eight next week in the finale. Hayate has been absolutely crushing it all season. He will also be in that finale as well. Could have been the four seed after if he won against Unjust, but he's still going to make that top eight appearance. But Unjust, are you kidding me? We're playing Mortal Kombat, not Beyblade. I cannot believe you just made that rip. On the charging hell spawn. That was crazy. And after the no punish there on the wind push whiff, just oh, he caught him dashing. And of that's going to be things, it. Of all of the things that have happened tonight to cause Hayate to lose that, it was his movement. The thing that got him by far to here. One of the things that we know about the sh movement, the ice skating, the wind skating, the winsies. I don't know, but the movement is what got him in the end, and the mighty unjust needed a win in the last week. Delivered. And took it convincingly. Congratulations. Convincingly. And how it turned out, he ends up actually getting the seventh seed overall with some of the movement that happened. He was going to jump up a couple of seeds, but with other people getting some points, um, he's going to end up at 500 points total. He's the seventh seed, and our one through eight, our finale for the season is set, but getting the victory in the final week when it matters the most unjust, really pushed to the limits here. The 722 time champion is now the 723 time champion here. The call season week number seven. Let's go unjust. He's making the finale. He said the prize pools. What? God, he said the like, oh, the prize pool's over a thousand. Okay. Take this raw spawn hell charge. And I'm taking that another 25 cents. Yeah, of course, every 25 cents helps. Appreciate I'll it. Take it. Unjust definitely went upstairs told Kikoi to get off the fucking game. I don't need to lag. I need to win this right now. <laughs> he told Kikoi to get off the stop playing Elder Ring, stop going mass, stop doing PvP, stop all that. I need to get this win. He told everybody to get off the internet. Let me focus. And he did it. And wow. Akuman, you said our top eight for next week is set, which is going down next Sunday at 6 p.m. I think yep. we're going to have a second and we'll be able to go through and let you guys know what our top eight is looking like for our season three MK finale, man. I cannot believe it's here. That's right, and some of the head-to-heads are going to be spicy, ladies and gentlemen. Can't wait until you see that. Unjust. <sighs> Unjust says that he was training for this match while fighting Mel Melania and, and Elden Ring. If something's going to get you in the mood of survival, it's going to be that exact situation. Mighty Unjust channeling his inner gamer right there. What a victory, though, and what a tough path. Hijinx, Pop-Tart, Hayate. I mean... Hayate himself was on a path here. This was someone that only played a couple of weeks, um, got one win, tried to you know get himself comfortable and then chill. And these two were two of the ones out of the hundred entrants that we usually get on average here in MK11. The pressure was really on them. A couple of others uh, that crumbled where they were able to succeed here. And guys, thank you as as well for the commentary. This has been fantastic. Let's take a look at that. Oh, whoa, not yet. Almost. 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 Well, while, while we got a second, we got our Twitters right in front of us. If you guys can give us a follow on the Twitter, we got Aquaman, we got Tento, we got myself. Be sure to give us a follow on the Twitter. Also, most importantly, follow the Coliseum on Twitter, join the Coliseum Discord, subscribe to the YouTube channel, all that good. So there's tons of ways to support, and we really appreciate it. And Rick, whenever you're ready, let's see that top eight. Let's see who we got. Oh, man. Oh, Rick's got God. the whole bracket for us. We got okay, the whole dude. thing, baby. Top to bottom. Look at this. This is going to be Scar versus Tweety. Honeybee versus Turkey. Full Auto, Unjust, Burning Oni, and Hayate. The Mortal Kombat 11 Season 3 finalists. Guys, look at this. Honeybee doesn't get a break. He always has to pay the court. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. He at least one, two, go, and to teleport hits. Break. At least one, two, and a teleport hits. At okay, least he's got that. Hits. At least right. he's got that. He always has to face Dakota, but guys, that's your, going to be your top eight finale next week on Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern. 
please tune into that. That's going to be great. And also, we got a big change. This is double elimination. That's why you see that bracket at the bottom of that that's empty. Any player that loses is going to go right down there, and it's going to be, they have a second chance. And it's going to be big. It's going to go on through that whole Sunday. Please tune in. $1,000 on the line. We thank you guys for the donations. You Big shout out to everybody in the chat, Joe. Like, that's, it's just been fucking ridiculous. Like, fucking ridiculous. Flashy, I just, man, it's been crazy. Again, we said it, you know, the players have been popping off for two months straight. Aquaman, Rick, working hard behind the scenes. Aquaman also on commentary. Tento coming in and crushing it on commentary. Seven weeks. Absolutely ridiculous. We got a finale coming up Dude. next week. I absolutely, it's going to, it'll be seven. Next week is seven. Call it seven, all right? But anyway, it's going to be super dope. We hope to see you guys there. I think that's really it. You can follow us on Twitter if you want to keep up to date with everything going on. We might have some announcements going down on the Coliseum Twitter after our Season 3 finale. You're going to have to find out. You're going to have to follow. That's the only way to find out. But that's it for us, guys. Thank you for $1,000 to the MK11 Matcherino. Everybody watching, if you're watching this in the future, if you're watching this live, we appreciate you guys. It wouldn't be possible without you. Tento, I think that's it for us, man. Week 7 is a wrap. All we got left is 8 players and a dream. We're going to catch you guys next Sunday, 6 p.m. Eastern. Coliseum YouTube, Coliseum Twitch. Be there. We'll see you guys there. That's it for us. We're out of here. Peace. The Coliseum is brought to you by PixelPro.io. Empower the creators. And the Coliseum Studios. Check out events, merch, music, and more at coliseum.gg.